Greetings, fellow investigators, and welcome back to our video podcast, Into the Darkness, where my friends and I are playing the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. I'm your host, Tom Rayleigh. The scenario is My Little Sister Wants You to Suffer. It was written by Paul Fricker, and it's available in the Miskatonic Repository. Our game master is Matthew Sanderson, and this is a one-shot. So without any further delay, let's begin our journey into the darkness. Matthew? Right. Thank you very much, Tom. All you feel at the beginning is just cold. It's dark. Although somewhere off to your right-hand side, there's a flash of a red light that just pulses almost a bit like a heartbeat. And as you slowly start to come round, you can feel you can feel yourself, your muscles aching, that you're tired, that... As uh, particularly then as Philip is uh, making such motions, Philip uh, reaches up his arm to grab round his neck, and as he does so, feels all these lines and cannulas in his arm just tug painfully as he realizes that he is laying in some kind of bed where he is stuck all over, a bit like a pinata, covered in lines with needles that are jammed way deep into his flesh. And this is a feeling that pretty much the rest of you all start to slowly feel over what seems to be a few minutes, a few seconds. Let's go around the, around the room and see what uh, see what people's reactions are. Um, Philip, you are lying naked on what seems to be a bed at an angle, say with all these lines in at you, and you can see there's a, a button down by your, say, by your right arm that's flashing red. What do you do? Um... I'm 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 looking around. I'm like, oh, dude, am I in the hospital? Uh, something happened. Uh, does it look like the kind of button you push to get the nurse? I'll start pushing it. Oh, uh, you push it or with your either with your arm or your elbow, and suddenly light starts to appear around you, and you realize that you're actually on a bed that's got a cover over you, and this cover, almost like a clamshell lid, starts. <laughs> and starts opening up. Uh, Sam, how about yourself? Uh, hello? Where, 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 where am I? Uh, do I have the flashing button as well? Is it just... Yep, same. Um, as you look down, down your front, as you realise uh, no clothes, but you do notice there's like a lanyard or maybe a set of dog tags that are hanging around your neck. Yeah I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm looking at him. Why, yeah, why, uh, just has this? the name Sam and then what almost seems like a serial number and a barcode underneath. Sam. Sam. Yes, that, that sounds right, but why don't I remember any... Uh, do I see all of these people around me or am I alone? It's about that time when Phillips hit his button, so lights start coming on in the room and you can see there is this frosted panel that uh, lies above this clamshell like lid so you've got the impression there is some kind of wider room out there but you can't see exactly what's there yet hello help does anyone can anyone hear me can i hear her yep philip will hear that uh, also so 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 will miranda uh yeah i can hear you give me a give me a second and uh She's actually kind of feeling the button before it gets pressed. Is it like a, a well-made sort of thing, or is it kind of hobbled together? It feels fairly well-made. Uh, she'll click it then just to, to see. Yep, which is there's a click and then a... As this lid starts opening up and you can see one of the lid opening and you can hear more directly where this voice is coming from. Did Where one are of we? You call a doctor. How about Max? I'm panicking. Uh, where am I? What's happening? I'm starting to tear out the needles. Uh, yeah, you start ripping away quite uh, quite happily, and uh, yeah, this starts stinging. Blood starts flowing from some of the more open wounds. It's nothing particularly serious, and it doesn't do any hit points. But it and maybe I'll stings fumble. Like hell. Yeah. yeah, I'll fumble around. Maybe hit the button with my elbow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it goes, starts to clink and then kind of stops a little bit and then eventually and quickly come pulls itself up. Who's in charge here? Sorry. 
Sergey, how about you? Ah, oh, I don't remember. It's too dark. Hospitals aren't dark like this. Uh, but it's Jesus. They're so. Um, are the are the fluid lines generally spread evenly over my torso and arms, or is there an oh, area? They. they... They're all dotted all over, but some are clumped together. Others are a bit more spaced out. There doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason to where they've been put. Uh, and they're, uh, I'm looking for like um, sutures or, uh, you know, indications that I was operated on. Maybe they stole uh, my kidney. <laughs> yeah, the last thing you remember is being in a bucket full, a bath, bath full of ice. No, you have a good poke around and you don't find any signs of any like, surgical wounds. There's no... Uh, gauze or pad or um, dressing anywhere. No, it doesn't doesn't feel like you've been operated on. Very very confusing. Um, what's the last thing I remember? You are a completely blank slate. In Jesus. fact, it's staring into that blank void of your memory. You can give me a sanity roll because that is pretty unnerving. Yeah. Maybe it's a head injury. Uh, well, I have a pretty good sanity and I failed anyway. <laughs> right, uh, that'd be zero points then. I uh, know, one point rather if you failed. Uh, that also reminds me thinking of uh, what people have got good stats in as such. This, this scenario uses a variation on the luck mechanic. So uh, you'll find on your sheets, there are various bits which are blot blotched out because you can't remember them. Uh, one other thing that is completely blank is your luck. 2d10 plus 40, that is your starting luck. Forty-eight. It, can this be higher than a hundred? Well, no, because your maximum oh, would be wait. sixty. Yeah. I remember how to do math when, when I'm not <laughs> when I'm not the keeper. I remember how to do math. <laughs> Say it again. Oh. What is it? Two d ten plus forty four zero. I was in so Call of Cthulhu mode that I rolled two d ten, and my brain was like, "You, you know, I read it. You read it like a hundred. I'm like, "No, that's not how we're reading it this time." There. No. Oh, speaking of uh, numbers and what you can remember, Jenny, what do you do? Um, I think the first thing that she's gonna do is probably like, like bring her arms up and like feel around inside the thing and like, like kind of disoriented. Um, and then she'll eventually get it, you know, open like everyone else and be like, "Yeah, well, you mean you." You reach yeah. up, and particularly as you hit this lid above you, you do actually feel it kind of gives a bit. This is not really, whereas the others, it's because they've opened quite smoothly. Yours feels quite loose when you give it a poke. Yeah, and then I'm going to like sort of be looking down at myself and around, and I, you know, immediately, and you know, she's going to be going like, I, what, what, what is this place? Where, where, where are we? What, what, what are these? Nurse, nurse. Well, Can we uh, hear Philly? anything other than other people talking? Like, are there any sounds? There's the faint sound of what almost feels like not an engine, but an ambient hum that there is almost like this rumbling sound in the background, almost like background noise. So it, sound, it sounds definitely electrical <laughs> rather than mechanical. But the, the room that you're in, or at least the what you can see of the room you're in, there are six the six of these pods, these beds which are at a slight angle that you're in, that now the lids are coming up on various ones of them and folks starting, you can see others that are starting to tear out lines in them and starting to either swing legs round and getting up off the uh, off the beds. Otherwise, there are a few things that immediately uh, come to, uh, spring to your attention. Uh, the first one is that there are two bodies on the floor uh, there's one, uh, a corpse that's naked, uh, it seems to be connected to one of the pods through these various lines, but the body has just almost seemed like it was someone that tried to get off the bed but hadn't pulled out the lines and then just collapsed. So some of the lines at the, the bed end have remain, uh, have popped out, whereas the line is still jammed into the person. So the, the body is flat on the floor. There's also one of the beds that looks like it's got something that tried to break out from inside of it. Um, you can see that there's a couple of 
tentacles or well, definitely some kind of sucker like appendage these green long almost like squid like limbs with thoughts or octopus like limbs with suckers underneath them that have broken out through a large crack in the top of one of these uh, one of these lids and are spewed in either direction but it is very very still there's no sign of movement over there uh, there's another bed which has what seems to be on the other side of the room. There's your six are on one side, and then there's six more on the side opposite you. There's another bed that looks like it's got someone inside it, but they aren't moving. And then the others look like they are empty. I'm going to climb out and stand up. Um. Can I can I get far enough away without pulling the things out of me, or you can take about a, a step at most, and then they really start to tug. What the fuck is all of this in my? Where the fuck, nurse, nurse, nurse? Oh, that you one look looks like he's taken his out without I was too many say, ill effects. Does, yeah, does, how thought... does how does Max look after having just ripped them out? Um, uh, say there's. Probably streams of uh, little trails of blood running down, running yeah. down all over him, but otherwise isn't like swaying on his feet and falling, falling down. Am I no longer attached to anything? Yeah, if you want, if you want to rip oh, more, fa- fantastic. Out. I'll yeah. just push that cover off, and uh, well, I am indecent. I need to find something to cover myself up. Looking around the rest of the room, otherwise apart from the beds, the body, etc., you notice there's there's a door at one end of this room. It's roughly rectangular. And then at the other end of the room, there is a large, what seems to be some kind of storage cabinet. I'll uh, I'll go for the storage cabinet, like power walk. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're heading over there. Um, I think I'm going to, I'm going to go through carefully, like very gently yeah. take out each one. Um, and I a think I'm going to look over, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna look over to Philip and go, now, I'm no doctor, but I, I've never been in any medical facility like this. I mean, did it, did, did, is this some kind of clinical trial? Would, did anybody I, I don't know. Anything? I, 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 we, I mean, obviously, we must have been in some sort of an accident, but I mean, we're not hurt, but it's like a hospital, I guess. I've not I, had anyone I've been in. I just I mean, I barely I, even remember my own name. I'm. I consider myself a pretty damn healthy dude, so I've never been in a hospital. But where is everybody? Yeah, this this doesn't feel quite like a hospital. Hospitals don't have metal walls. Yeah, I. Uh, well, I don't know. I've never been in a hospital. Um, maybe this, that's this so that you can steam feel. clean. Them. Uh, yeah, this, this really has a kind of a, this place has an industrial feel to it. There's metal floors, metal walls, and then big overhead lights. Uh, in the ceiling. Hey, dude, did you find anything over there? I don't want to stand here with my dork hanging out. I'm looking. Is this cabinet locked? I'm just rattling the door. I think it's open. Let me just double check. I'm not missing anything. Uh, yep, yeah, well, we'll say it's open. All right, then I'll, I'll fling it over quite impatiently. Okay, you fling it and inside this locker. Um, there's a fair bit of stuff in here if you start rooting around. So I'm, I'm looking for like gowns. So oh, that's the very first thing on the list. Oh, that perfect. As you as you open it up, there's a series of hangers that are and down one uh, one side of the locker door. So it's like a double door thing. So one of them you've got a series of uh, six jumpsuits in various sizes, um, all quite uh, neon orange. So uh, quite bright. But they look like they could be fa- uh, fairly good in terms of like thermal. They'll re- they'll retain heat pretty well. Uh, there's also then amongst various shelves, there's a whole load of stuff in here. There's a pair of handcuffs and a key, a Terry's chocolate orange, uh, a pen knife, a wind up torch, a small brown cardboard box with the lid is slightly ajar on there. You can see inside there are six thumb-sized white plastic cylinders. Uh, there's also a pack of three condoms, um, a roll of adhesive tape, uh, a taser, a pistol with four bullets, looks like a 38 caliber. Uh, there's a half a packet of cigarettes, 
No lighter, though. Um, a seashell, a cheap biro, and that's it. Okay. Hey, throw me one of those jumpsuits. Right. So I'm going to take the handgun, put it in the jumpsuit I intend on wearing, and hide that away. And I'll toss the jumpsuits to people. So oh, what are we in prison? This is prison orange, isn't it? Uh, we could be maintenance workers. Fuck if I know. It's, it's got kind of piping down the side, so it doesn't look like a kind of prison outfit. It has a more kind of sci-fi okay. type, type feel I, to it. This is the kind of thing that you would expect maybe to see on the likes of Star Trek. I can't remember anything. You so like my quasi-futuristic clothing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, ah. Can anyone else remember anything? I passed That's my thing. name. I'm maybe. wearing dog tags. I think maybe I'm military, but that, are we all know. wearing dog tags? You are. Well, well you I'm can Phillip. call me Max. Yeah. Hello. And uh, we, this is cryo sleep, right? Isn't that's that not a thing? About? It's a not, thing. Yeah. That's, no, it's, that's a like, thing. it's not a lie. That's, what, it's, what is it? What? There's an alien over there. All right. Some sick fuck. I actually do want to go look at that. In here. Let, let's go. There's some guy just laying in the bed. Maybe we need to wake him up too. I'll knock on his window. All right. Why? Well, there's some supplies here. You should take them. <sighs> what do you got? Well, there's a knife. There's a, a what looks like to be a taser. I'll take the knife. Is that a chocolate orange? I'll toss it oh, over. Oh yeah. That mm. tasty. Are we hungry? Not particularly. No. Thirsty. No, not oh, really. I'm sure those coffins kept us well sustained. Oh, the, oh. Other, the other thing you'll notice is that there's also a thin layer of dust over a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> Jesus. Everything's I'm adding up look to at the, us the... being there a long time. Uh, sorry. I'm going to go look at the, the bed with the other person in it. I'm going to go to yeah, the door and do... try to open it. I'll, okay, uh, so Sam, you... I'm, I'll, yeah. I'll go with you. I want to see technologically how one of these unopened ones is working. Gotcha. Uh, going on over and having a look at that body, you can give me a sand check. Uh, pass. Okay, um, just it's a zero on a pass. Okay. Yeah, this is some weird, fucked up alien thing that's in here. Um, it looks vaguely humanoid, but there's evidently big differences to normal human physiognomy. It's got green skin. The mouth has been extended and open wide, and there are just these large, like really stupidly large teeth that are the poking of, um, from below some fairly thick lips. But it's almost too la- the teeth are almost too large that they don't allow the mouth to shut properly. I mean, it's dead anyway, so the, jo- uh, the mouth is kind of open wide. It looks almost like they were gasping for breath. Um, completely hairless, no eyebrows, no, uh, no hair. Eyes are almost completely bloodshot. The, the body otherwise is fairly human. Other than the, over the main torso, there are lots of welts that almost look like rudimentary suckers that are starting to form over the rest of the body. And the arms have been replaced with these two large tentacle-type appendages. What the fuck? This is... I, are we on like a movie set? This is this is like some advanced puppet something, or this is this is we're like on a sci-fi movie set or something. This got to be looks, it, right? It looks pretty damn real, and it smells. I'm, like I'm gonna it prod it. I am so convinced this is fake. <laughs> like this has got to be latex or something. So I'm like prodding it and poking it. I can't uh, remember what there. the last thing was I did. As, uh, as Philip's also saying that, and you're realizing that there is this big blank hole in your memory, uh, Sergey's already rolled this, but everyone else can give me a sanity roll. Pass. Uh, Passed. I also lost one sanity. I rolled earlier. Okay. Uh, pass. Yeah, pass is zero, failure is one. So you Maybe failure was... on the alien, mm. by the way. <laughs> hmm? If you failed your sanity for getting close to the alien, what's that? Uh, one on a failure. One as well. Yeah. Um, Sam can give me a your choice of first aid or medicine if you're having a okay. good prod around the body. Yes. Uh, that is a hard... No, that's... Ooh, I'll spend a point making an extreme. Oh, okay. 
All right, you um, you start prodding. You are fairly positive after probably two seconds at the absolute most. This is real. This is this is a living thing. This is not uh, this is not a cheap rubber doll that or some kind of animatronics thing that's here. This was a living, breathing flesh and blood thing. But with an extreme, you do notice around the arms that there's been some kind of surgical activity that's taken place here. You're, you may be thinking this isn't that the thing you're seeing here, this isn't how it was born, that there has been a lot of surgical augmentation that has happened to this body over time. You think the arms have been removed and these other sucker things have been grafted onto them. And likewise, the teeth aren't the real teeth. This they are some. They're not uh, they're not metal, but they're they're definitely their false implants and they are badly designed so that i say the mouth doesn't shut this this does look quite horrific that some kind of surgery has been done on this poor what you think was a human being to make it look like it's some kind of alien but it's very much a dead man that's in front of you oh my god this is some sick experimentation shit this, this was a person at some point what the fuck's going on here i don't like it nope you're on mute. Let's get the fuck out. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, well, there's and that now. one doorway right there. Yeah, I what was going out? towards it. What about the person that's still asleep? I think that is that person. I thought no, there's there was there's one, one of the, the there's one of the person in one <clears throat> bed. You can see the red well light still. Him. Yeah, the red light's still yeah. flashing. Putting on a jumpsuit because we don't have enough. I don't think. There's six of six jumpsuits, six of you, and one other guy here. Early bird. Serial number on our tags. Does that seem significant in any way? There's a barcode too, right? Is there a scanner? No scanner. Uh, the numbers, if you compare them, they just seem to be ten random digits. Incremented. Uh... Um, I'm gonna go over and just I guess I'll just like knock on the the sleeping person's like thing. I'm like, anyone alive in there? You knock, there's no response. You can see that if you kind of wipe away the dust on the top of the on the glass panel, you can see there's a man inside that's probably you think his late 20s, perhaps. Um, eyes are shut, again, lines all over him, red light flashing by the side. Doesn't wake up. Well, look, open it, open up his his thing. Uh, I'm sorry, what's your name? I, di I didn't even catch it. Oh, uh, Jenny. Jenny, Sam. Uh, yeah, somebody want to help me with this? Yeah, yeah, I'll help you. Before you open it up, uh, we don't know if he's going to be aggressive or not. So here's the uh, handcuffs and keys. I think oh, he's okay. probably going to be just like we He were didn't wake up like oriented. we did. Used. We don't and he's the only one on up. that side. Right. Well, like we all woke arbitrary. up around the same time. Yeah. And somebody left handcuffs here. This was in the the storage locker. Are there are there boots or slip ons, or are we going to be barefoot in orange jumpsuits? You are barefoot. Is it? We woke up cold. Is it colder outside of the pod than it was inside? It feels like the room is slowly warming up. So yeah, it seems like the the tubes themselves or the bio uh, the the cryopods were colder than the rest of the room itself. Okay. Actually, I have a little bit of a strange question. So obviously we 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 found objects that we recognize, right? Like we we recognize what a what a chocolate orange or what handcuffs are, right? Yeah. Um but we don't remember anything. Do I remember like non-specific things to me in a, in what would like give me an indication what time from period I'm from. Like when he said cryo sleep and we see the alien thing, do I think aliens too or the people from Mars or neither? You, you see what I'm saying? Like you, you might have a vague recollection of seeing some <clears throat> film that starts a bit like this. Um, okay. Alien. Yeah. But it's a, you can't even remember, is it alien or is it aliens? It's, it's hard to okay. pin down which. Gotcha. If Dude, you, I don't even know how or, old I am. Right. That's why I was like, do we even know like what kind of time we're from? <laughs> like, no, nope, yeah, you so. have no idea. Okay. But movies, like I understand what a movie is. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
let's get this guy out of here. You know, no one deserves to be left like that. Yeah, I'm going to be practical. I'm going to take the duct tape. Can we? What um... What if he's contagious or something? I mean, it looks like we're experimental subjects, or maybe you know there was some kind of emergency, and we, you know, are where's the the nurse? I don't think there's a nurse. Well, where's the mad scientist? There's no display clipboard readout to indicate who this person is or nothing. No, okay. Nothing. Uh, one thing, especially as Sam's looking for that, one thing you notice that this guy doesn't have, he doesn't have a dog tag. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, dog tag or not, I got, I, I, we got to see if he's alive in there. Oh, so I'm going to try to find him. I, I a... th- this guy kind of made a good point. What if he's infected or something, though? I don't. Well, look, we could say that about all of us. It doesn't if look any different than we do. Just a, yeah, if it was just an electrical fault, we don't look like sucker arms over there. So I'd say we're pretty normal for the most part. Right? All right. So you think that shit was going to happen to us if whoever did this to us came back? I don't want to find out. Fuck that. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Let's get this maybe... guy up and let's leave. Maybe I'll take that taser. I've never used one, but it can't be that hard, right? It's, it's a handheld uh, touch taser. It's not like uh, it fires the two darts. But there's up close and personal. Yeah, uh, is the cardboard box with the uh, the cylinders in there? Is that a, like? Is there enough extra space that some of the extra things we can kind of shove in and take with us? It looks like the box itself was made specifically those for those six okay. uh, things in there. Okay. There's six of us, the six of them, except for the guy in there. Give me one of those things. Yeah, what is that? What are sure. those things? Uh, literally about yay, about yay big. Almost think of them as a bit like um uh lipstick. That's the word I was looking for. Uh, a tube of lipstick, about the same kind of size, about the kind of size of your thumb, but obviously more straight and cylindrical. Uh pretty much featureless. There's no no apparent idea as to what these things are. Can they be opened? They don't look as though they've got an opening. That's weird. They, they've got a little bit of weight to them, so they're not hollow. There's definitely something in there. Um, I'll put one in my pocket. See, I'm going to see, is there a way I can get the pod open from the outside? The pod with the guy in it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you would lift the lid, and you can, mm-hmm. um, it actually comes up remarkably easily. You would have thought there would be some kind of resistance mm-hmm. here, but you just pretty much lift the thing almost as if it's made of... Um, like plexiglass, and yeah, you just lift it up. Um, <clears throat> is the fluid in his tubes moving? What what fluid? There are the tubes are empty. I think we have our answer. Well, I don't know. Poke him. Is he soft? I mean, I yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and like try to wake him, and then if it, that doesn't work, I'm gonna see if he's like try to see if he's dead. No, he's definitely he's definitely alive, and oh, he definitely okay. has this got a fleshy yep you're you're a warm and you're alive but he's not waking up you can My, give me a first aid or medicine roll sure I, I just have first aid um oh that's a that's a three though so that's an extreme all right um you are fairly sure then that the guy is most certainly alive he's almost reacting like he's in some kind of coma or very heavy sedation um you're thinking that the only way that he's going to come round and probably how you lot came round is if something comes down one of those tubes and basically feeds him something that will wake him up. Evidently, he didn't get the same memo that you guys got. So maybe we should leave him attached because we don't know how any of this works. I I don't think... I mean, without some outside uh, intervention, I don't think he's going to wake up if we take the tubes out. We should be cautious because something turned on the machine that woke us up so they probably did that on purpose right and i guess these six weren't so lucky we'll punch his red button see if that wakes him up the red button just opens a lid yeah that's all it does uh for sam's question they need back into the bed so they go on they go underneath the where basically where you were lying so this whole thing seems to be a fairly self-contained unit okay the pods yeah and the machinery is all hidden out of here yeah, let's just get out of here. Yeah, I agree with Sam. 
Maybe, maybe we can just send someone to help if I, I don't know. Yeah. Just, I think is there anything else in here we could use as a weapon if, if there's a mad scientist doing experiments? I, I've on got us? a knife. I'm not bad with it either, I think. Right. It feels I've familiar got... in my hand, you know? I, I, I'd, I'd like to take one of those plastic things too. If there's six of them and six of us, it might mean something. I, I'm even going to compare, like, pull up the jumpsuit sleeve and compare them to some of my holes to see if oh, they're okay. like a good fit. No, oh, way, 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 way too big. Uh, you certainly weren't injected with something around the same kind of size as a, li- uh, a stick of lipstick. <laughs> well, I'm going to try the Maybe door. We should all just take one and hold on to it. You know, six of them, it's got to be for us, yeah. right? Six jumpsuits, six plastic things. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, and that's perfect because I can use the uh, the box, uh, the remnants to keep the seashell and the cigarettes. And she's like pulling everything that I now can those, fit in I, here. I'm assuming these are our personal effects, right? Like, does any of this mm-hmm. stuff look familiar to anybody? Can I t- toss me the seashell? Toss. It's not a good toss. I'm going to look at it. Hello. Hello. You're seeing it. Uh, there's nothing uh, looking at it there's nothing that really sparks anything but you hold it up to your ear and you can hear the sea yep sea's still there what you're the you wasting time Jesus. yeah i agree with uh, that. does does any of the stuff look i mean now that i've taken a look at it do, do i look like does any of the stuff look like it might be mine or like no, that i would no, resonate with nothing. okay Nothing sparks individual recollection. Recollection. Yeah. Uh, uh, can I? Uh, sorry, Miranda. Is it? Mm-hmm. Um, I can. Uh, can I see the cigarettes? Uh, of course. Yes. Here you go. Buzz what box. brand are they? A uh, lucky strike. Ew. Are they? Uh, are they old and dry and crumbly, or are they fresh and fragrant? Uh, the former. They, they look like they've been here a little while. We might have been in those things for a long time, because, yeah, these are shot. Well, we should be Ooh. careful not to mess with too much on our way out, because if this is like an after effect, we might remember more. And if we are on like a spaceship or something, we're going to feel real silly if we turn it offline. I mean, I... as you say that, uh, Philip, can you give me a luck roll? Sure. 44 is... Oh, wait, I wrote my about It's 53. Yes, it's a pass. There you go. Okay, you, get, you walk up to the door, <clears throat> and just as you get up to it, there's a whoosh as the doors open up in front of you. And then as you could uh, go about to step forward, it looks like they're just about to kind of start shutting again, but they open back up so they don't, like, slam shut on you. And immediately in front of you, there is so this same uh, aesthetic, this uh, steel floor, uh, steel metal plate walls, overhead lights uh, above you in the ceiling, and a porthole directly in front of you, but through which you can see the cold, dark, vast, vastness of space. Shit, dudes. We're in outer space. So that rumbling is the engine of a space. No, no, I, I, no are, are you sure we're not like in a sub or something? Maybe it's just like like we're underwater. It's like we're we're in an actual ship, not a spaceship. I, I, do, do I recognize I gonna, any constellation? I'm gonna look. Um, there is just big black space with the occasional pinprick of light that. If you stare at it long enough, it almost looks like maybe they flicker slightly or they are very slowly moving from one side to the other. <clears throat> I don't know, dudes. Look, look, look. Come here. And like here. this, this is space. Like this isn't just like we're in a dark place, like with well, little bits of light. Like that's could, recognizably space. It could be like a dark ride. <clears throat> and it's just fooling us. I don't like it. I, I just get out of here. I just saw all these people naked. Do they look like they could be astronauts? Um, you saw my astronauts. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, I am a ro- very rotund man, size eighty five. So probably yeah, not. So, certain people here do not look like they would have passed the NASA fitness course. Is there a is there a height minimum for space? 
like that's, yes. I feel like there would is there guy probably I probably don't meet that minimum. <laughs> I am it's, very I'm very small and wiry. Yeah, we're not astronauts. Maybe oh. we're reading animals. Maybe Here's this isn't a human level. ship. I wouldn't mind that. Okay, this is. I don't like where this talk is going. We got condoms. We got condoms. Well, that why would they? If the purpose, it doesn't. I don't. This is. I don't remember what the movie was, but collection. When I the 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 movie I saw that that was it was like this. Things were not going well for people. Uh, I I don't remember much about anything except that I remember that. (laughs) I mean, what else? There's there's nowhere to escape to if we're on a ship, right? There's just the exploration of the ship. As I step into the corridor, do lights come on? Yes, they do. And in fact, as you, as everyone seems to be moving out of the room now, first handout time. So I'm going to go around the screen and uh, invite people to open up one of, I've got a uh, four for the audience at home. Um, each of the players has been given a set of five, <coughs> uh, five handouts that uh, have got spoiler tags on. So when they click on them, they will open up and be able to read what's inside. So Sam, uh, you can open handout three. Uh, Sergey, you can open handout five. Miranda, you can open handout one. Max can open handout two. Jenny can open handout one. Okay. And Philip can open handout three. Take a couple of seconds just to uh, to take in uh, that little revelation that you have all been granted. 30 seconds later... Do any do any of you remember uh, a movie where the machines took over the world and everybody was asleep? Uh, hey, Matrix might be a word that floats into a couple of your people's heads. Uh, maybe because I it's like maybe you know maybe. We were always on this ship, and we just had memories that are turned off. You know, out of all of you, Shenny, you seem the most familiar to me. What? I seem familiar to you? Did- I remember being at the beach. I'm a surfer. I can remember oh, that I okay. liked surfing, and I got knocked into the water. When I came out, everybody was screaming, and there was something in the water, some huge thing. Shark? No. It sounds like the plot to a movie. No, it was was like an island. I feel like we're talking about three different movies now. But I I remember Jenny, who grabbed me and started pulling me out of the water. I I did? I mean, I... Um, and there was something that was coming out of the water and grabbing people. That's the last thing I that remember. That doesn't seem um, real at all. It yeah, does I mean, seem like I, a movie, but I, I remember myself. I was gasping for, I, I got water in my, you know, I was choking. So, um, so not, maybe we actually knew each other before all this. We got to stick together. I'm a I'm a I'm a yoga teacher. So like I mean I, I go to the beach sometimes. I wouldn't I wouldn't uh that that would not make sense that I was at the beach. Um I don't remember saving you, but I guess if you were drowning, I would and I saw and I could help, I wouldn't let you, you know, get drowned or grabbed mm-hmm. by a sea creature. People were screaming. They were they were acting like it was the end of the world or something. Memories are important, but also, we are not being fed by those machines anymore, and we don't know who else is here, so we should find out where the food is, and maybe somebody who can tell us what the fuck is going on. Yeah, maybe yeah, it was a, I... maybe it was a dream. Maybe it was like I this is I, I don't know. I'm what telling you that sounds on, like but... the plot to a movie, Philip. It doesn't sound it sounds really familiar. It feels right, really uh... real. Whatever we we should just like I, th- I think stay calm you know like you know keep our heads here and I think we should continue exploring I guess yeah, find any member of the crew that mans the yeah. spaceship right they're very practical I, 
If the, nothing the else, you can teach shit. us all yoga. I mean, I guess, but I mean, I, I think we have bigger concerns than that right now. Than, than right. keeping we think fit. We do. Well, let's just be careful because I don't, I, I mentioned it before, but we don't have to be concerned. Just because we wake up with no memories does not mean this is a bad place. You, you're all, there's a lot of paranoia here and I understand that, but look at this. You We're do not see that alien, this Miranda. Is, I, I agree. Did, actually, be, that was that pretty man upsetting. was experimented on. Okay, it was. Horrifying. I will level. I'll level with you. I agree. We should be calm. I also think we should be calmly concerned because we're on a spaceship and don't. Re we seemingly are on a spaceship and don't remember how we got here. I don't intend to end up like Tentacle Man. So, I don't know about so the rest of you. Calm, so. calm, centered, but aware, concerned, not. Uh, you know, not going to get uh, taken us by surprise by something. So I have this taser, and uh, who took the handcuffs? I think they're just in the box. Miranda. They're probably in the box that Miranda has. Or what do you? Somebody, somebody like a cop or something? Like I feel like somebody we got to like we got somebody's like cop kit, like or half of it. I'm a very physically fit person. You can definitely see that, but I, I don't know what I am. I we all have dog. Why do we have dog? All right, let's explore. If we can find a, the barcode scanner, sure. Why not? That would Use be them. good. It, it could also be a, a medical thing too. You know, just saying. Or an experimental thing. Let's let's stick close. You know, that's that's where it's safe. Does anybody want a piece of uh, chocolate orange? No. I'm good. I do not have an appetite. I'm not even hungry. Was it was it was it in here as long as the cigarettes were? Yeah, it's about to say, does it even taste good? Anymore? Chocolate never goes bad. Oranges do. It tastes fresh. Dipsy chocolate doesn't go bad. Nothing grows in all that sugar. Yeah, but, yeah. Sorry, right. dude, you passed it up. More for us. <laughs> I don't like chocolate oranges. Give, to give you a bit more of a description of the area around you, so there's the door immediately behind you, so this double door with... Uh, as has been described in the chat, Star Trek doors, indeed. The whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. Indeed, as you all come out into the corridor, there is the sound of whoosh, and the doors do close behind you. You're in a corridor that runs perpendicular to the door you've come out of. So the door comes out here and the corridor runs left and right. Um, at both ends of the corridor, you can see that they end in a T-junction and either direction that there is another door, basically two sets of doors, one facing each other. And these doors have no windows, I assume. Correct. It just well, let's see if we can find people. Find people and make sure that they're friendly. And what do we do if they're not? Well, I mean, I've got a taser. What is, were there any other weapons in there? Why wouldn't they be friendly? They would just the they would have they oh, would right, have killed us or eaten us if they were unfriendly already. I we mean, were helpless. Right, maybe that we were, you know, food for later. Who knows? Or experiment for later. I mean, maybe they'll be friendly. I'd like that, but I don't. I, I find this very disquieting. Uh, I guess since I've got the most practical weapon, I'll go to the closest door. So it's a T junction on. The one to your right is marginally closer, like maybe a meter closer. I'll just go to the other one. We'll open them both and see what's there. Well, that guy said we should stick together. Well, we're not going. We're still in the same. Together. We're still in the same room. Right. I guess if we look, if the doors open automatically, we can look and report back. Right. To each other. Sure. All right. I'll take the right door. Take the okay. left. As so if you you both turn, you both turn right. So you're then going to the doors at that end of the corridor. You can see the one on the left has a number two on the door. The no one, the one on the right has a number one. Okay, so we, when, it's not an alien spacecraft if they use Arabic numbers. Yeah, dude, uh, dude going close that, to the that, door, that's English. I can read it. It's not Arabic. Gotcha, surfer. 
going close to the door for, um, to uh, room one, uh, again, the door kind of uh, slides open. Uh, this room is cold and dark. Again, there's a very, a very definite feel that there is a refrigerated temperature in here. Uh, you can almost see your breath as you uh, as you breathe out in here. This is this has been sub zero for a little while in here. Uh, you can make out that there are rows of tables. There's about three rows of five uh, five tables or stands. Perhaps it's a bit hard to a bit hard to describe them. But you can see the remains of what looks like plants that were on top of them and very dried, very, uh, not desiccated, but very worn out soil that's on top of them. It looks like they were maybe um, raised flower beds of some kind or that there was some kind of vegetation that was growing in here. It's long since dead. Aww. There is nothing in here. Room two, however, when you open the door for that, you feel or you could all feel the heat coming out of this one. Uh, this room feels tropical, uh, very humid as well. So there's very much a wall of moisture just uh, just hits oh. you. And this room is teeming with life. Uh, this looks like a hydroponic center gone wild. And to say gone wild is quite an apt descriptor. It looks like the the plants that were planted here have been allowed to run riot. They have grown out of their, uh, grown out of the tables where they were originally planted. They're flowing out onto the floor. They have gone up and they've hit the ceiling and now are uh, going, uh, weaving themselves around what seem to be large tubes up above where there's evidently some kind of sprinkler system that has been long since clogged. At least the majority of it's been clogged. Um, there's still the occasional spray that you see up above that makes it look like there is we'll get water coming down from some uh, from somewhere, but yeah, this place is a vast contrast to room one. Fruits and vegetables growing everywhere. You can't see vegetables, but you can see fruits. Uh, you can huh. see ver uh, various fruits hanging from some of the branches. <clears throat> oh, look! Look, here we got food. That's good. I, Something's I gone have... wrong here, but. But these things are all overgrown. We've got plenty of food. Any if, um, fruit we recognize, or is it yeah, alien um, fruit? Uh, no, there's tom um, tomatoes, peaches, bananas. I'm going to pull down a tomato and eat Can it. Can I make, uh, would I be able to like, make like an intelligence check to for Jenny to know something that I know about like plants in space? <laughs> oh, go for it. Okay. That's Wait, there's yeah, so... Uh, Gravity. Jenny's, Jenny's no uh, yeah. like she, she's a smart girl, and so you know she, she thinks for a moment, and then I go, um, if plants are growing, and we're actually on a spaceship, and this isn't some dark ride thing kind of you know deal, that means that there is not only an oxygen system, but there must be some sort of air system that filters the carbon dioxide that the plants produce produce when they intake the, yeah, the oxygen. way around the, but you know what make, i mean like there's a make, there's a balance they make oxygen yes sorry that's what i mean the, the, but if 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 there if this what i'm saying is if we, there wasn't a system they would produce too much of one and it would not they, be good so there's some sort of a system filtering yeah. the air plus you're getting water and light plus there's gravity and we're in space there's gravity yeah oh so yeah anyway. plus plus I there's threw... tomatoes and they're delicious I like They're a pretty tomato. Good. So either we're accelerating or somebody invented artificial gravity. And I don't... Dude, somebody had to invent a spaceship and a cryogenic freeze and all of these things that I've that... never even heard of except in crazy movies. We don't, we don't know. Technically, there was no freezing element. We were just in a coma and then a machine woke us up. We don't know if it was actual cryo freeze. All I know is I was surfing just before this happened. I thought you said you didn't remember what you were doing just before this. I, I didn't before, but now I can remember. I was surfing. I got I got I got hit by a wave, knocked over. When I got well, you're to the sure surface. that that was bef like right before this. Well, you were, you were saying a yoga me. teacher from a monster. Yeah, the, yeah. When does that fit in? Is that before or after the surf? This has a little bit of a fantasy element. Should we go to the other end and see if there's something? Sam, yep. Max, and Miranda can give me spot hidden rolls. Uh, 
No. Okay, Miranda, uh, you notice a couple of things. You're the only person that's, uh, well, it's not that you're not the only person talking, but you're kind of surveying the area while, uh, while others are talking around you. And you notice a few things. Uh, one, there's something that looks like a, a ball. It's, well, what is that ball? It's spherical with a series of what look to be stalks coming out from both the top and bottom. The bottom ones end in what seem to be a set of rollers so that it propels itself along on some kind of uh, some kind of tripod type uh, mechanism. There's a series of tubes or rather um, limp arms that come off the sides and more stalks on top that open on what seem to be maybe like eyes. Uh, this definitely seems to be some kind of robot. Um, the end of the ends of it seem to end in various different gardening appendages. Uh, the thing is laying limp uh, where it stands. It's just round. It's just off the cor- uh, off to the side of one of the tables. Is that in room uh, one or two? Oh, this is in room two. Okay. And, and also in room two, you think you see something move off in one corner. Something vaguely humanoid in shape, but it's what degree of success did you get? Uh, just a regular yeah there's there's something maybe it's hard to see because it kind of blends in with all the green color in here but yeah something something definitely moved up out the back oh, oh just, just, quiet, quiet, quiet quiet look look there's some, the, someone's someone's in here hello someone well something it moved uh it might be a more biodiversity type things Why are you uh, calling out this, to it Oh, uh, Philip's already called out to it. Um, yeah. In fact, looking looking around in that general direction and says hello. Um, in response, there is an almighty Rah! and this thing rushes out of the undergrowth, uh, smashing uh, tr- uh, smashing branches, smashing vines out from behind it, and reels. It's a living one of those things that was in the uh, back in the cryo bed. You see this these tentacles whip off in both directions, su- uh, suckers over its body, opening and closing. Uh, this big wide open mouth with uh, that tries to gnash with its ill-fitted teeth as it runs directly towards you. Uh, we'll go into initiative at this point. All right, can anyone beat uh, the 72? What are we yeah, I, got 80. I have 85. Dex. 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 Dex 55. Okay, so someone's cried 75. Yeah, uh, I have 85. Right. Nobody has better than that. In which case, uh, we'll start. We'll start with yourself, and then start going down. Um, I'm gonna. Is there anything nearby that I could use as like a weapon or like a put in front of, put in between me and bad thing? Oh, there's, there's, there's yeah. They say there's there's five other PCs. <laughs> not not the point. The vibe I was going for. <laughs> well, I did come into the room and picked some tomatoes. So, um. There's, there's various uh, fruits. Uh, I mean, I guess like this thing's coming. It's coming at Philip, or it's it's running straight towards Philip. All right, I guess um, if like I'm gonna try to you know wait, and if it gets if it gets close, if it gets too close to us, I'm gonna punch it. Like I'm just gonna get done a defensive stance, I guess for you know. Okay, so you're going all defensive. Yep. Um, people have handily posted their stats in the chat. This is good. So I think the next uh, the next one to go is going to be the thing on seventy two. Yep, it's going to be the thing on seventy two. Right, it's going at Philip. Um, this thing is say flat, uh, thrashing around with its with its tentacles. It looks like it's going it's coming straight towards you. These both tentacles are kind of going out either side, and they're stretching out very almost like um, big wide. As if it's going to try and give you a big kind of hug. I'm going to try to dodge. Okay. All right. Uh, roll dodge. I got an 09. And that beats my 87. So, so I probably yeah, dropped managed... to the ground as he tries to grab me. Yep. You uh, you go and uh, you, in fact, well, is a deliberate he. Um, you do indeed go uh, go straight down on the ground and try to slide away from it. Um, as you get down low and get to see its junk, you also notice something else that's a bit kind of odd about this thing. Um, there's definitely something weird about its anus but it's kind of bulging 
But yeah, we'll uh, we'll leave it. We'll leave it there for uh, for that to leave that uh, to leave that to sink in. Um, Let's not let it sink in. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> right. Uh, next up is Sergey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've been looking at the taser. I'm just going to go. It's run right up to Philip. So I'm just going to try to stick the thing in the, you know, torso. Okay. All right. Um, well, it's going to try and fight back. Uh, it's just going to do a regular fighting attack. Rather Should than I fighting. consider that a fighting brawl? Yes. Appropriate. Wow. Okay. I have to spend four to make that a regular success. Ah, uh, okay. I am under a hard. Uh, so, uh, do, you want, do you want to save your luck? Because uh, you would have to get down to a hard. To yeah, a that's going to be pretty dear. And I have less than 50 to start with. So, uh, I'm going to get fought back. I hope okay, those suckers it, aren't functional. You know, it's not the sucker that so much hits you. It's more the backside of the tentacle. It kind of it almost does like a um, tentacle man bitch slap that goes whoosh. Ah. So where is my D4? All right, this is going to be for a total of oh, uh, five points. Gah! Yeah, okay. so you, you have this bam. Let's see, you are back tentacled uh, backwards. At least we know that we weren't misinterpreting his intentions. Yeah, he does not seem remark as remarkably helpful or friendly. I assume I, I'm going to fall on my ass. I hope I can hold on to the taser, but uh, oh, you, you know. You still got hold of it. Right, that. Is there's something wrong with its butthole? <laughs> there's something very wrong with it. What? <laughs> uh, next up on sixty, I think, if I'm getting my maths right, is Sam. Yep, I, I have an I have the knife, so I'm going to run up and try to take a stab at it. Okay. okay. Um, it's also going to try and fight back. Although um, you will get a bonus die because it is now tempted to dodge. In the round, or not? Um, it's fought back in the round. It's not dodge, but it's you're getting overwhelm, uh, overwhelming bonus because you are many opponents right. versus it's one. That's a success on my end, uh, and it's a failure on my end. So you go and you give it a good smack. Yeah, is that a D four or a D six? I guess it depends on the kind of knife it is. Oh, if the knife, it'll be a D four, a D four plus damage bonus. It's only a pen knife. All right. I have no danger. Okay, uh, three. Okay, yep. Yeah, this thing uh, not howls, but definitely screeches uh, in pain. Is keeping the track of how much it's taken. So three. That put, drops it to. Uh, yep, and it starts to starts to bleed as you uh, as you jam the knife into it. It does bleed red blood. Uh, next up, then that was sixty. Fifty-five is next, so that's Philip. I am on my back, trying to back away from it as far as I can. So scooting along the ground. Okay, you are, you're able to pull yourself back. Oh, you don't need to make a roll for that. Okay. Right, and next up is fifty. So that's Miranda. Uh, I think Philip has the right of it. Um, the other one is it enough that we could pull it out of the doorway, like into the hallway, or is it too far off? Uh, the other what? Oh, or is there? I thought there was another one of these spherical no. things. Oh, okay. uh, oh, the the spherical thing is like a you think it's like a gardener robot, um, okay. but it's just it's seemingly it's turned off or it's not working. It's just off on well, off to one side. But this is definitely one of those green-skinned things that uh, Sam was examining back Tentacle in the chrono bedroom. I yeah. see. I see. Is the uh, is the sphere reachable, or is that a no-go? No, you can go over to it if you want. Yeah, I'll go over to that real quick. Hide behind it. Okay, that will give you at least a something to put between you and it. Um, in fact, as you go as you go over to it, um, this thing one one of the eyes whips around and looks at you. And kind of blinks 
but it's a mechanical thing. So yeah, there's definitely some kind of life in this uh, BB-8 wannabe. <laughs> With your uh, I think the last up is Max. All right. So people are in danger. So I want to grab a pot because it's a hydroponics from just smash it for this thing. Okay. We'll treat that as a club. So yeah, give me a fighting brawl roll. With a bonus die, right? Just going to try and uh, pimp tentacle you again. Okay. And it's not numbered. So. Yep. You get a bonus die. Which 20, really which is a hard. Oh, 94 is a definite failure for me. So uh, right. give, you so, a, give you a D6 for a plant pot. Beautiful. Thank you. And I do have a bonus day, die. So oh, it's yeah, going to be you five. Are, you, are, you are a pretty tough guy. All right. Uh, that forces it to make a con check, because that's more than half its hit points. And... <laughs> Keeping up my typical die roll. 96, this thing falls up. This thing goes uh, and collapses Jesus to the floor. Jesus Christ. Um, it's chest heaving as it does so. Um, it's still alive, but it looks like it's unconscious. Its eyes roll back in its head, these two bloodshot eyes. And that's the point where you smell something that it, you're fairly sure that it evacuated its bowels or something down there. And this... Um, Something f- basically flops on onto the floor with a wet, sickening squelch and an awful smell. Oh God! It shit itself. Something came out of there. Is it moving? Get out of. Let's get out of here. Um, it's not moving. No, it's um, it's kind of green. It's uh, it almost looks like some kind of egg like or egg sac like. Uh, thing. It's definitely biological. Uh, yeah, it's just laying there. It's vague, uh, maybe vaguely pulsating. So it, it laid an egg. All right. Well, yes. it's, it's uh, like, like a cockroach. You step on a cockroach, and if it can do it, it'll lay eggs before it dies. Is everyone? Stop. Is anyone? Is anyone opposed? If I just step on this thing's head, go for it. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. And get out of here. Uh, you know. What? You are most certainly the closest PC. Can Max also then give me a dodge roll? Sure. I failed. Okay, uh, you go to stamp on the thing's head, and the egg kind of vaguely quivers for a minute, and then explodes. Um, Jesus. You are co- you are covered in something that smells terrible, and not only that, especially as you, you are walking around barefoot, it hits your exposed skin, and you feel it start to burn. Uh, take one point of damage as you are hit by what seems to be some kind of acid. Water. Is there any water? I'm going to run my foot underneath the sprinkler. Yeah, you're able to start uh, start getting it off your, foot, your feet as quick as you can. But yeah, that burnt. Okay. Are there any gardening also, implements? Did it? Oh, yeah. There the are gardening implements on, to, on, the, uh, on the robot. Uh, that also requires a, a sand check from Max as okay. well. Okay. Did, did anybody well, else get hit by any of that, or did it just kind of get everywhere? I failed. Just, it just it only Max was the only one close enough for it to hit. I'm like, careful! Don't, don't, don't touch that stuff. Who knows? If, Too like, late. If Too it's late. contagious or not. Yeah. Uh, maybe like, are you feeling okay? What one D three on a fail? Okay. Grab uh, a handful of dirt and rub it off. Yeah, I tr- oh, I lost three. <laughs> not good. Um, yeah, that kind of freaked you out. Yeah, You're not doing so hot. Serge, you got hit too, didn't you? Maybe we take a minute. Somebody got hit in the fight. Are you yeah, uh, and... are you some kind of soldier? Who? Me? Who? Sam. I, I don't I don't know. I don't know what I am. Are you good with guns? Yeah. Like that I, I feel like yes, but um... all right. Well, I'm I'm about to pull out a gun that I found, but now I know I can trust you all. So Sam, I'd like you to have this. Interesting. Uh, thank you. I uh, is it a regular gun? It is a thirty-eight revolver, probably. Yeah. Guns in space. I would, I would not fire that in here. No, no. Because, that's why. That's why I didn't. But, because that might set us all on fire. Sure. Might also or, punch a hole in the side. It's right. not loaded, yeah. right? No, I didn't. Load no, it. I'm going to check. Okay, actually. good. Yeah, I'll. I'll it's got four I'll bullets. Check the four. Okay. Yeah. You said that. Did Did um, I see that robot move? If you turn around and look at it, there's one of the eyes blinks 
and looks at Miranda. Can I, you I under get... can you understand us? Blink once for yes, twice for no. It slowly starts to jerkily turn around. Um, there's three of these eye stalks, and then uh-huh. what each each of the three eyes kind of opens in some kind of well, seemingly there's not any rhyme or reason, but they all open and blink at you. I don't know. Is there an oil can around? You don't see any any tools or uh, any repair kit type of thing around here. Does it have like any access ports or anything that we can clearly see? Like, oh, there's a there's spot you just kind of pick up. It's just old and dirty. It needs a cleaning. Yeah, whoever's supposed to be running this thing, I'm afraid we're now the only thinking humans on it. Uh, you have to think really hard. Are you okay? I mean, I, uh, <laughs> I'm i going to feel it for a while. Uh, I think I heard yeah. a snap almost. That's Let me wrong. see if I can patch you up a little bit, yeah? Oh, please. That, that uh, sewn-on tentacle is uh, very effective. It's just the one for first aid, but yeah. Was just yeah. Anyway, you can treat my uh, my foot. Is, is it infected? How does it look? It looks like a kind of mild acid burn. You don't think it's a, you don't think it's going to cause any lasting damage, right? That's a hard, but just any success is one. Right? Like it's yeah. one, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, do you mind if I trade trade you that uh, gun for the knife? Uh, yeah. Here. Okay, I'll take it. Should we use the one set of handcuffs we have on this thing, or should we? Kill I can it just put the sleep? knife into its neck right now. We should uh, just kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, think about it, like, putting that. it out of its misery. This is this is a man that became some horrible experiment. I'm just gonna jab it in the throat. I, I wouldn't want to live like that. There is oh. an, there is an almighty gush and a very uh, distinct red halo that starts spreading out around this uh, X thing. Let's get out of here. I don't like this. I I don't I want to uh, uh, explain how biology works, but usually there can be more in the, the the tubes. I'm just saying that if that one wasn't the only thing. Well, didn't you say it was originally a, a, a human being, Sam? Yeah, like this was a person that they experimented on. Right, well, there was, which, and they did a lot of experimenting because that egg thing, I mean, that's... Yeah, what the fuck? That's not a surgical adjustment. That's seriously changed. So... Unless we find another sleeping area, there was the guy who fell down, still attached. There's the guy who didn't wake up. There's the guy who's half monster. And then there's this guy. So there might be two others. Mm. There might be a whole right. ship of them. Yeah, we don't know how big this thing is. We need to is be there... careful. Before we go back down the hallway and find out what's behind door number three, is there any other way out of this terrarium? No, there's there's nothing. There's no other door in here. Um, Weird. Max can give me a spot hidden roll. Thirty four. Okay. Um, you notice that um, down one uh, one shoulder, or what was a shoulder, if if tentacles can have shoulders. Something's been tattooed into the skin. And it just seems there's just a series of six symbols, but you don't know you don't know what they mean. But they're they're also not like a Latin alphabet. They don't look like Cyrillic, they don't look like any human language, but they are definitely symbols of some kind. Anyone can make uh, can anyone make any sense out of this? And I'll point it out. Let me take a look. Assuming it's not English or Hindi. It's it's not any human language. Yeah. There are no triangles or circles either. It's just squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Yeah, they're not geometric shapes either. Uh, uh, Sam, did you see any of that on the uh, the other body? The one that looked like oh, this? No. no. No, that wasn't no. there. I don't suppose we checked his uh, egg zone. No, I <laughs> 
you wouldn't have been able to see it from him yeah. being laid down on the bed. Right, yeah. Well, I think we Let's should just moving. make sure we've right. got something yeah. to hit. Uh, does does robot look like his appendages can be disattached? Uh, no, they are very much part of it. Okay, and so there's no sh shovels or rakes or anything that... Died. You can see one of the appendages has got a trowel, another one's got a little fork right. on it, another one's got a couple of secateurs. Um, and as you, just appropriately, as you go over to look at it and uh, think about this, it starts to move a bit more and its arms start to become a bit more mobile. Um, those various implements are starting to be brandished up in the air and okay. it seems to be waving in a, a almost kind of a, a, in such a manner that it's almost uh, if you imagine it to be a chef in a kitchen it's kind of yelling get out of my kitchen as it's starting to move forward and uh, kind of gesturing for you to try and get out it seems to be okay. kind of ushering you towards the door so that thing let's yeah let's go that thing was just hanging out in here eating peaches and growing its egg. I don't know. And but when human beings came in, they woke the robot up to do its gardening. Maybe we're on an alien ship and those are the aliens. And yeah, but why would the doors be numbered one and two? Well, also, maybe... we've established that they're human. And and can we note that, Philippe, you did steal some of its fruit as the first thing in the room it may have just been food aggressive if this is the only food on the ship that's a very valuable commodity it doesn't matter if it can hit like that when it's you know attacked by an out and outnumbered by a group of people i'm happy maybe to it, see it maybe it just attacked us like a mom, mama bear attacks when she's got a baby well then let's be glad there's no baby Except it was anymore. a dude too, so yeah. I mean, with a cloaca, it was a weird butthole, is what it was. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> As everyone leaves, we will have to pause for a minute because we need Jenny back because you're going to open another handout. Ah, so we'll go through everyone else and then uh, get to Jenny afterwards. So. Sam, you can open handout five. Uh, Sergey, you can open handout two. Miranda, you can open handout four. Max, you can open handout one. Uh, Philip, you can open handout four. And then Jenny, when she gets back, will open handout five. 30 seconds later. It's a whole uh, range of different emotions here from looking staring in bemusement laughing and kind of uh. <laughs> while we're kind of reading uh we haven't seen any like uh inter uh interfaces or anything like that uh like kind of computer anything oh wow nothing yeah we're in a high-tech spacecraft that has artificial gravity and mutants but no tablets lying around yeah this is a prison this is a prison, prison with a pretty little garden. No, I'm I I. No 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 no. This no, is, this, this is a prison. It is not. This is not a prison. This is a prison. Yes, it is. Serge, you were there. I, you and me both. This is a prison. I don't. Why? What did I? What do you think I did? I don't. You. You took over. You were in charge. Of but but you were ship? sympathetic to these creatures. You 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 didn't want to imprison them. I I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I I was an academic. I don't I don't know I, what you're remembering. I'm I'm gonna whisper something to Sam. All right. Sounds Jenny, like private what message saying, incoming. You were interjecting. <laughs> So if it's a prison, it's very it's badly not... designed if they leave a locker with a gun in it in the prisoner's bedroom. This isn't a prison. I th Then what is it? I have this... I think this is our attempt to escape something, but I think the thing we were trying to escape hitched a ride with us. 
Look, I never did anything. I wouldn't be in a prison. No. And as much as I... I think I'm starting to remember what you're talking about, Philip. With the ocean, you mean? Yeah. I mean... Doesn't seem so far-fetched to me anymore. I mean, all of this is pretty far-fetched after all. Far-flung. I think we need to keep moving. I I don't know. Agree. Yeah. Maybe we can steer this ship back where there's safety. Maybe we'll we can find out where it's going. Yeah. I, I don't yeah, we don't need to go back. I, I mean, wherever we were heading, we obviously meant to go there. I, I remember that I was some kind of rebel, some kind of survivor when, when they came. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and I was fighting them off. I, uh, these yeah. things, right? Is that what these things? I, I don't know. They're people, and they can't even... No. They can barely it's, eat with those teeth. The, the things that made those people yeah. the way they are. Yeah. I can't can't remember though. I it, everything is just like patches, patches of memories. I don't know. At that point, can everyone give me a listen roll? Oh, I got it. Uh, I fumbled. I got, I got an, oh, an extreme. I got a hard. I got a hard. <laughs> okay, so one extreme so far. Philip is looking at his dice. No, no, no. I, I failed. I had an 81. Oh, so I thought you were looking around for... No, I'm typing you something. <laughs> All right. Right. Um, Jenny, you think you hear something uh, just kind of almost while Sam is saying it's it's overlaid um, or not overlaid. Her voice is blotting it out, but you think you hear another voice from somewhere. Or we're kind of with a mechan or metallic artificial tint to it. Um. Sergey, you're fairly sure you hear somewhere. Um, again, you're not too sure exactly where it comes from, but you hear someone say, "Switch to eight. Shit, we're not alone here. We're not alone here. Let's let's get a move on. They, somebody said, switch to eight. Maybe Close up on Sam's channel. face. What? This is a reality TV show. Are there cameras? I don't. I haven't seen. Are there cameras? Um, if you're looking for them, give me a spot hidden roll. Yeah, I'm looking. As soon as he says that, I'm like, wait, what the fuck did you just say? Regular uh, spot regular. hidden. I, I failed. Um, I, I also got a regular. It's Thirty-three though. If it were a different game, would be a crit. <laughs> this is not Delta Green. It's not. It's, it's not. not. No. Your doubles do not help you here. Having a look round, you don't think you see anything, and then you look up, and around the lights, I mean, there are these very high, uh, very uh, bright lights above you, but there are very small, very small, almost discreetly positioned, almost like drilled through this, uh, drilled through this metal plate in the ceiling, the, an occasional hole where you can see a lens that's no more than about about maybe three to five millimeter across. Yeah, there are very small cameras around here. So throughout maybe we're not all, in space. All the rooms. Maybe we're just on TV. Maybe they did something you, to our I memory. I thought this was a, a film set. I told you I thought this was a film set. Well, you're all the ones who attacked to this person, not me. It wasn't a person. It was self-defense. There's still something wrong with that. There's still us. something wrong with yeah, that. Yeah, when you stabbed him in the neck, it wasn't. You didn't. It, attacked, to... it attacked Philip. But it attacked yeah. me. It, it was it, defense. I, it, it, it's, I'm just saying. I my my hands are clean of this. I, I didn't. I didn't. All do right. It. So we won't vote you off the island or whatever. Great. The fuck this is. Let's 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 move to room three. Quickly. Yeah. Let's go down the hall and find our way to the control room and beat the shit out of the director. <laughs> okay. Right. You go down the uh, down the corridor. 
you've got a room to the left and a room to the right. A room, the room to the right has something that looks a bit like a keypad, except there's a series of buttons on it that's all dark. The one to the left, um, getting close to it, uh, the door, the door just slides open, and a hexagonal room on the other side opens up. Uh, you can see that in here, there are a series of shelves which line the room where on them is something that looks maybe a bit like a foot to 30 centimetres to a foot tall, cylindrical, uh, made of some kind of dark frosted glass, perhaps. Um, these cylinders or canisters um, have a couple of holes on the top, one black and one red. And then in the middle of the room is a plinth or some kind of dais with a couple of what seem to be wires that come out, one marked, well, marked, one coloured red and one coloured black. And a indent where something about the size of one of these canisters could be put onto them and then with enough give so that these wires could uh, come round and plug into the top. And there is a speaker on the front. Okay. Um, are there cameras in here as well? And now you've spotted them. You can see they're in every room. Uh huh. No privacy. So they're so this is a little fun puzzle for you, fuckers, huh? Very cute. I mean, um, it seems like we put these canisters on the thing and hit the button, right? Yeah. The in uh, the in, the canister things have indents on the top. Are they? They've got two two holes on top. Okay, so they're for not, the wiring they're, for the wires. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, there's six of us and six of these yet again. Uh, they don't have any markings like our barcodes or numbers on them. None. Well, who's feeling lucky? Pick one. No one's rushing. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. I'll take the rightmost one from the door. Okay. So if they're, you know, if, they, if we number them from left in a circle, number six, put it on the dais, plug in the wires, red and black. Okay, you plug them, you plug them in, uh, whichever way around. When the second plug goes in, a light comes up from beneath, illuminating the interior of the cylinder. And inside, there is what looks like a human brain with a set of wires <gasps> that come out from the top and then connect via a some kind of interface in the underside of the lid. And that then bubbles start uh, flowing up from beneath this thing as it um, starts to talk to you through, this, through the speaker. Can everyone give me a sound check, please? I don't see why. <laughs> Ooh, I oh, failed. Nice. Yeah, this I is also failed. terrifying, but apparently, yeah, brain and jar, no problem. Yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, pass is zero, failure is a 1d2. Use the coin. One. One. What is the brain saying? What 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 have you done now? What 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 what's going on? Why why is it why is it so cold? Why can't I feel my arms? Why can't I feel anything? What, what the hell is going on? <coughs> <laughs> Gotta unplug that and let the bubbles go back to sleep. Oh so what the don't... fuck? I was quite well timed on my front because it does actually start coughing. <laughs> and then finally, as it starts coughing, midway through a cough, it goes silent. Okay, I don't think we need to plug any more of these in, right? Well, this is fucked know. up. Maybe some of this them This is really calmer. fucked up. Did, did it sound like anybody I know? Oh, what? they could be. It was quite of a tinny voice. You think it might have been male, but it's hard to say. You know, my own. Yeah. Sorry, go. Uh, um, 
I'm just going to check myself for yeah. like brain <laughs> surgery scars. No, you, you do the back of your head. And so you, you've already checked yourself over for signs of any kind of surgery. Right. And you're pretty certain that there is nothing there. Well, uh, we're not the worst off uh, on this fun TV show. Well, that's a just fucked be a up TV show. Then. Right. It would be nice to think so. Yeah. Can you imagine if 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 on if if you replaced like on the weakest link, like the weakest link, I'd put in a brain jar. That's what the fuck. Why are they watching us and not talking to us? Kind of some sick experiment. Hey, um, if that's the case, they're probably in the keypad room, but that room doesn't look like it has power right now. As you say that, the keypad lights up. Ooh, never mind. They are watching not, you. It's not numbers it on does. there. It's a series of weird squiggles and other sim uh, and symbols, vaguely reminiscent of the tattoo that you saw down the arm of the thing in the other room. Did we try the monster code? You try the monster code, and the doors open. At which point, you can move on to a next handout. So, uh, Sam, you can open number four. Sergey, you can open number one. Miranda, you can open number two. Max, you can open number four. Jenny can also do number four. And Philip, you can do number two. 30 seconds later. So what's in the, uh, what's, what's beyond the door? Yeah. Um, the door opens up, so there is a shoo, it, go, it opens up. Uh, lights come on. Uh, first thing, can everyone give me a spot hidden roll? Ooh, 14. A hard success. Philip and Sam, there's one other thing, apart from what I'm about to describe, there's one other thing that you notice, which I will get to right at the end. This opens up into what seems to be some kind of computer to, uh, computer room, that there is a horseshoe-like desk over to your, as you coming in, it's over to your left, and slumped in a chair behind, the, um, behind this thing, is what looks like something that could have crashed in Roswell. Um, it's a grey alien. There are um, It's spindly body, big oval head, big uh, black oval eyes, arms slumped and uh, laying limp by its sides, and it evidently seems quite dead. Um, over to your... As you come in, that'd be your right. Uh, there are a series of large monitors. They're definitely not windows. They appear to be monitors giving an external display of what appear to be appears to be space. That this definitely seems to be some kind of monitoring room. It doesn't have a feeling of it being like a uh, like a bridge, but it definitely has some kind of monitoring of outside of the ship. And I am. Oh, there's another door on the far side of the room that has airlock written across it. But Philip and Sam, you both smell cigarette smoke in the air. And you notice that uh, just tucked round behind this horseshoe uh, desk, there is a discarded cigarette butt where the, with a faint whiff of smoke still coming up from, uh, from the end. Someone Philip, someone Philip is so stunned. here not that silent. long ago. Someone was... I, 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 yeah, yeah. I hate smoking. I Wait, but smell. is it a lucky strike? It, no, it's not. It's the tree. It was smoking. Like this thing was lit recently. Something, yeah. Like, like really recently. How was that lit with the, with the, the, the but with the air and the, the, well, it's not pure oxygen, or we'd all be dead. Not a, we're not in a pure oxygen environment. Yeah, but it, you're. But if it's in. A, but if it's a. Well, make, well, that means the gun should work. But if it's. A, but if it's in a sealed, it shouldn't. Uh, well, maybe right, the air, air. Air is filtering it out. Look, or something. Where some... could have this person gone? Because we we came from this entrance. Are there any Just other exits? The airlock besides the airlock. There's, there's no other exits, but if you're taking in a bit more of the scene around you. Uh, the horseshoe desk in front of this grey 
that's uh, on the on the chair. You can also see there is sparking coming from the what looks to be a control panel around it, and there are what look to be this series of glass or perspex kind of tubes that are uh, squares and tubes and rods and cones that are all lit up in different colours, and some of them are sparking as if there's been some kind of damage to the panel. Okay. I'm not going to take any chances with this alien, so I'm going to just stab it in the throat. Uh, you stab, there's quite a resistance of going through it. It's Is got it quite does it feel mix. like a, a living thing? It feels cold, rubbery, and dead. And as you poke it, there is this kind of black ichor that starts to uh, starts to flow out of it very slowly as if it's almost congealed uh, something or other for blood fucking alien are, are any of are there screens that show the places we've been nope so this isn't the uh, camera control center as as you turn around and look at the screen um a couple of the panels flash and spark and then a voice kind of starts booming out from somewhere, from some hidden speaker somewhere in the room. And across the display, um, what seems to be a waveform. Um, so as you can see, this basically the animated sound start to appear as a voice comes over um, over the speaker and says, Gargle Fagan in a common blood flax. What? Who are you? We are. Who are we? Who, who who's asking? For the folks on TV. There's this voice starts to uh, morph from being this kind of very raspy, very awkward sounding voice into what sounds like a young girl, and says, "My name is Father." What the fuck? What is what what, what is the, the meaning of this going on here? What is the meaning of this? Please redefine question. Meaning meaning of what? Why are we here? Uh, this is Arc two o four two on course for the Beta Canis uh, Canis Majora system, seventy three light years from Earth. The vessel is traveling at twice the speed of light and is at present ten percent of the way through its journey. Are you suffering from any adverse medical conditions? What is our destination? Destination is Beta Canaris Major. So we're off to the dog stars. Well, um, why? Why can't we have you... memory Sorry. loss? Yeah, that is an I... adverse medical condition. We have memory loss. Why can't we remember things? This sounds like if. A problem with the habit uh, the habitation systems. I'm reporting that there are some there are some problems with the habitation systems on the lower level, as well as the upper level. What is the purpose of this ship? Ark. He said Ark. Yeah, that's what they Trans call the ship. They're saving transport, us. Transport of oh, biological okay. specimens to a zoological exhibition. Exhibition. Wait, a zoo. Um, oh, that. So we fucking lost. Great. Can we reroute? Uh, mission is currently on autopilot. What happened to Earth? O outside of my parameters. What are the green men? Other biological specimens? From Earth? No, not from Earth. Why have Are we been placed with too? why have we been placed with them? You are all best you are all destined to all destined to the zoological exhibition. Together? We've I've been abducted from Earth and we're going <sighs> to a zoo. How many habitation chambers are on this ship? Because you mentioned an upper and a lower one. Uh, there are two habitation centers on the ship, uh, one on the lower habitat level, one on the upper habitat level. Except well, there are currently reports that the lower habitation level is showing signs of. And then it goes into this monkey oh, ah, 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 and kind of starts to uh, 
break apart the sound for a minute and then comes back and says, error in power system. The power plant has been a sustained damage, cause unknown. The damage may, re may be repaired in the lower habitat level. There is insufficient power to maintain the upper habitat level where you presently reside. The section shall be jettisoned in 30 minutes time. 29 minutes, 58 seconds. 29 where's, minutes, 56 seconds. Where's the what, hatch to the lower? What are the instructions? For yeah. Can you give us a map? <clears throat> um, it doesn't come up with a map, but it does, uh, it does state. Uh, access to lower habitat level is via the access tunnel. Information. The access tunnel has been compromised by space debris. The access tunnel is damaged and unusable. Biological specimens would sustain, uh, would sustain irreparable damage by using the access tunnel. How do we get to the habitat then? The lower habitat level can also be accessed by ARC 2042 shuttle. Does that cause you concern? Why would it cause us concern? Does this cause you concern? Yes. You repeat, Arc. the, the uh, energy system can be repaired from the level on which we currently reside? Negative. Power level is beneath you. Right. Who so, is in charge here? Without a, without a captain or designated uh, biological commander, commander re refers to, or command defaults to myself, father. I want, the, the, take us back to Earth then. And I'm sorry, that's... that's outside of the scope of my uh, my mission parameters. Oh, it's in the cards. Father, we need to know how to shot. get to the other part of the ship. How do we get to the shuttle? Shuttle is through the air, uh, the airlock, and at that point, the airlock door opens. Let's go. Let's go. Through so, the airlock into the depths of space while it's traveling. No, no, no. We're going, going into the, the, shuttle. Going to the shuttle. Oh. The yeah, shuttle so it's already attached. Yes. Yeah. Leads to Shuffle Bay. Father, who are the inhabitants of the lower habitat? Are the biological specimens? Are the biological specimens from Earth? Negative. Where are they, they from? Tentacle I... arms. Yeah, I don't I don't want to go free some more freaks. To be fair. It, it, this entire this entire half of the ship is going to be jettisoned. You said affirmative. You so we memory? need to we need to not be on okay, this side fine. of the ship. But why are the people who are watching us on camera speaking English to each other if they're aliens in the lower habitat? I don't think they're the ones watching us. But Father, who monitors the cameras on this habitat level? Uh, it's well, you can't get an impression of it shrugging. <laughs> um, it says automatic security systems. Well, then something's wrong here. Is, is there an armor? The person in the room with us. There's, there was another human. Oh yeah, who was smoking in this room before we arrived? Unknown. What about the person that was in our room when we woke up? There is another specimen in the room that we were in. He's still asleep in his bed. Who is that? Uh, it then it, it seems to respond, but just comes up with this monkey sound. Oh, ah, 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 why do why do we have dog tags and yet he doesn't? It starts to almost like a modem screeching. Is we the other fucked with? Is the other exactly. side of the ship able to support our kind of life forms? Um, it kind of garbles a second, then uh, you catch the back end of it saying, affirmative. Yeah. And Are there any other living humans on this ship, aside from the six people here right now? Negative. Are there medical facilities on the ship? Uh, let me get the right word for this. Hang on. Uh, uh, the only medical facility is the stasis room where you would previously have been held in stasis before awaiting arrival at destination. Uh, so yeah, uh, we got to get to the other side of the ship if we don't want to be jettisoned into space. Do the life forms living on the other side of the ship pose us any danger? Affirmative. Oh, fuck. Is there an armory? 
are the life forms on that side of the ship in stasis? They were previously, but it seems the power the power fluctuation has woken them up as it's woken you up. Uh, when Max says, is there an armory, a drawer opens um, in the desk. Oh, good news. It's in it. Uh, there is a single, what looks to be some kind of handgun in there. Um, this is an odd looking piece of kit. I mean, it looks and feels like a handgun, but it's closer to say it's almost like a flare gun um, because this thing has a this thing has a barrel and it has six holes that um, what kind of you could put your thumb into each hole. Not going to do that. Our <laughs> um, Our I'll capsules. pick it up. Hmm? Plastic capsules. Does it fit the lipstick chip canisters? Perfectly. All right. What does can you define what these do? And I'll present the canister to the screen. Ammunition. Did you say that there's six finger holes? No, it's like they're, they're about the size to put your thumb in. They, they, oh, they where the, the canisters go. Yeah. I'll okay. give Jenny my canister. Yeah, me okay. too. Should we take the six brains? Negative. What but they'll be the jettisoned. Per- yeah. You are more important than them. But we're going to be the new Adams and Eves. Correct. Oh. Jesus Christ! Fuck this. Uh, what about the? Yeah, I think the that's the idea, person? Sam. Can't you wake him up? They said there was no other living human on board. I think but, he's done. But we know he was living. He was. Well, not for long. Besides, well, that's why we that, need to get him. That, that no, would not be another alive anymore. Twenty-five just, minutes now. He's dead now. Insufficient time to revive him. Time that to would just set, be uh, another dude. We need to head to the shuttle. Time to time to jettison. Twenty-seven minutes, thirty seconds. All right, yeah, we better go. Let's get out of here. Yep. But I we gotta be know. prepared. Let's grab whatever we can <laughs> right now. Yeah. Is there a is like is there like a pipe I can take? Uh, right. You could. You could try and smash the chair that the uh, the corpse of the aliens on. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. Father, Are, what is the planet of origin of the uh, deceased gray entity? It rattles off a series of letters and numbers. Yeah. Is is uh, is the deceased gray entity the keeper of the zoological habitat? Formally affirmative. Are the alien species in the other half of the ship the green things, the green people? Affirmative. Oh, boy. Bad bad job, bad biological specimens. Well, then let's okay. kill them all. Yeah, I mean, I've got uh, you, a club. Absolutely. Father, can I, I, you exterminate all of those life forms before we get there? Negative. Oh. Father... Is it your intention that we exterminate those biological specimens? Negative, but please do what you need to do to survive. But please. It did indeed say please. Uh, I'm I'm going to be right back. uh, And Miranda runs out uh, back towards the food room because we don't know if we can eat their food. Mm -hmm. Good thinking. You should say that before you run out. I'm grabbing food. She's not okay. that smart. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with her. I'll go with Miranda. Okay. Once you leave the computer room, time for handout number four. Okay. So uh, this is four. So Sam, you've got number two. Sergey, you've got number four. Miranda, you've got number three. Max, you've also got number three. Jenny, you also have number three. And Philip, you have number five. 30 seconds later. I'm I feel not... like... Sorry, go ahead. No, you please. I, I don't know. This might sound weird. But I feel like either one, our memories are actively or were messed with. Or two, I think that we're going to go home at some point. Like, this isn't a permanent journey? Like, Jenny can give me a power roll. Oh, okay. 
So we're on loan to the zoo. Oh, I got a nine. So that is a extreme. Something as for what you've just said, you seem to have hit the nail on the head somewhere that one or more of those memories, something just doesn't feel right about them. Ooh, do I know which ones or just that they don't add up? I, all I will say is one or more of them don't feel right. Because I, I don't know, I, I, for some reason I got this, something came back to me and it was like, I remember leaving my dog with somebody and like, I feel like I'm going to see the, my dog again, but that doesn't, the, like the, 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 the combination of memories do not add up and I don't like that. They might, there, we have no reason to believe that you know, they're being honest with us. I think we're being fucked with on multiple levels, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, but, right, but I, the ability to, to fuck with someone's memories is not something that I thought was, it was possible, right. you know, yesterday, so. Well, the tentacle monster man, like, there's uh, there's a lot of things that I didn't think were possible. I don't know what I thought yesterday, because I don't remember fucking yesterday. That's That's actually true. But if they're watching us and choosing who to put a close-up on, that's not father... And that's not the uh, weekly vocalizing green yeah. mutants. I'm trying to figure out what level of this is real and what is the show. And I'm trying to figure out whether I want to be in a goddamn alien zoo and the dog star system, or whether I just want to be jettisoned in a fucking space with the heads in jars. Bob, who's be watching someplace. us right now? Who's watching us? No one is watching. There's just the automatic security system. A fucking lie. That's a lie. Why are you lying to us, Father? I'm not lying. I'm incapable of lying. Father, who said that there should be a close-up on Sam? Unknown. I do not know what you are what you are referring to. You're not monitoring sounds from this habitat level? Automatic security system is auto is monitoring everything. Uh, what kind of automata are involved in that? Classified. Are there classified? So, Father, please inform the monitors that if we get out of here, we're going to kill them with blunt instruments. I do not know who like you refer you to. Um, all right, so they're getting fresh fruit and veg, although if we're only a tenth... Father, you said a tenth of the journey is complete? Affirmative. Um, a klaxon sounds, and then uh, Father's voice, or this a little girl's voice, uh, then starts beaming from evidently some other part of the ship, saying, warning, upper-level life support failing. Biological specimens must evacuate the upper habitat level immediately. And on that note, we will have five minutes for a quick evacuation <laughs> and <stroke> fire break. <laughs> Sounds a good, that's a good idea. Right. <clears throat> evacuation complete, but uh, you need to evacuate the uh, the upper level. Let's get into the shuttle. We, uh, Miranda and I come running back with tomatoes and cucumbers or whatever there is in there. Yep, you, you can grab an armful of stuff without uh, without any problem. So keep you going for a little while. How's the little wait. robot doing? Yeah, a uh, little robot. When you go into the um, into the greenhouse or into the uh, kind of the bio room, um, it kind of it takes a moment for it to come back to life again. But when it does so, it starts waving its arms again and tries to just usher you out of the room. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Robot, the the plants are going to die if you don't save them and bring them to the. You're probably automated. Never mind. Pull up, plant, pull up. Plant. It, it, look, it looks you, all the eyes start blinking, and then it just kind of puts all its appendages in the air and starts going, Aah! What is my purpose? <laughs> okay, well, oh, I guess there's there's probably room on the shuttle for you if you need to come along. No, it just starts going round and round in a circle, almost as if it's having some kind of fit. Yeah, bad under pressure, I get it. Oh, there's... Oh, uh, Philip, Miranda, what it was the was there any change in our uh, green? The green didn't want thing? to look. Grow, didn't want to gross myself out again. Uh, we Father, had to step over it, so yeah, probably. 
Father, are there um, stasis chambers available for us on the lower habitat level? Affirmative stroke negative. There are not stasis pods, but there are escape pods if required. That's good to what know. What is the range of an escape pod, though? Like, I don't want to just be floating in space. The escape, the escape pods will allow you to complete your journey in stasis. Okay. Okay. If completing our journey is what we end up wanting to do, wake up and find Either the way, in a space uh, space zoo with little aliens eating popcorn and throwing stuff. I don't know seat. about y'all, but I'm going to be heading to the shuttle so that I don't get jettisoned out into space. Yeah. We're all, <laughs> where we're there all aren't escape pods here. connected, and there well, are like 20 anything. minutes, and we might as well listen. No, it to said them. immediately. It said, the life it, support it said is failing. The life support's failing, and then it's going to get jettisoned in 27 minutes. But we might be dead by then. Yeah. No complaints. Let's go. The, the Remember, does uh, does uh, scream again and also comes up with the same message. Warning, upper level life support failing. Biological specimens must evacuate the upper habitat level immediately. Also, go. Jenny, stay centered. Keep breathing. I, yes, centered as we go to the Heart other show. chakra. Yeah, let's go. Got some tomatoes, a taser, four bullets. Uh, father... How many biological specimens are there on the lower habitat? Currently. Currently. Uh, you can hear this kind of... Almost like a modem screech again. Uh, currently six stroke 18. The eggs. Gotta Affirmative. The eggs, right? Yeah. Uh... Let's go. Oh. I think we can handle six mm. and the eggs easy enough. What, why did um, the eggs count as two? I'm confused. Didn't it say 18 right down? Okay. Twins? Multiple oh, no. eggs. I don't know. Maybe they can oh, lay no. more than They're this. all pregnant. All right. Well, make sure to stay out of the splash zone. Right. How's your burn? Well, Sam was able to patch it up okay. I'll be fine. Right. Um, Jenny, when you go into the airlock, uh, there is a door on the far side of it. Uh, it's another hexagonal room that you've gone uh, on an octagonal room you've gone into. But the door on the other side doesn't open. Um, there just is a uh, flashing light above the top, which is just flashing red. Don't you have to close us all into the room before you, it's an airlock? Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other door is still open while there is only one person in there. Yep. Hustle in. I can take some when, of that, some cucumbers if you want. Yeah, when everyone's uh, when everyone's inside, uh, father says, "Good luck," and then the doors uh, kind of jerkily clam uh, clatter again shut, and with almost like a delay, they've almost they've shut already, and then you hear the shh sound, and finally, there is a and two door and the green light comes on above the exit door. And then it opens up into what seems to be a much larger room, like a shuttle bay. Uh, from where you come in, over to your left, um, are a large set of double doors, um, almost like hangar doors. And in the middle of the room, on a large circular platform, um, is something that looks like some kind of shuttlecraft. It's about the size, size of a minivan. Um, there's a set of steps um, on one end uh, the, on the side that looks at you. It's not like on the end of it, but on the side that's facing you. And that would lead up inside to an area that looks like it's got at least some seats in there. Maybe it talks to. Or text instructions. Hope. Yeah, I hope it has a way to fly itself unless any of you are hiding some... Uh... Some skills I don't know about. It does not look like a machinery I'm familiar with. Uh, there are, there are a couple of wings on the side as well. So yeah, this, this thing looks like it flies more than it drives. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, let's just get in. I'm going to strap in. This, are there seatbelts? <clears throat> there are seatbelts, and there are six seats inside. There are two at the front, 
then there's two behind those two, and then there's two which are opposite the door with the step ladder, not step ladders, the the steps that go out the back. I'll click into the seat that's closest to the door. Is okay. anybody like a pilot? Maybe it's Otto. Uh, I hope it is. Yeah. There's what looks to be definitely the two front seats look like they do sit with their legs underneath some kind of control panel at the front. At the minute, everything's off, but you can see that there is this kind of glass sheet that could be like a Star Trek kind of push various bits of a um, like a massive iPad type screen and another screen at an angle coming down from that that looks like it's again looks like some kind of screen rather than it being a window well sam you seem to be the only competent one among us do you want to take one of the front seats yeah i think i will uh yeah. i'll take the other unless anybody's got a good feeling if, if there's covered. a computer i think i could probably make some use of it but i'm i don't know about flying well if you feel computer smart give it a shot i'll sit in the middle that it's all in that alien language i mean i guess i'm not i mean i'm dexterous so i guess i'll take the other seat (laughs) okay once everyone is inside the step ladder at the back retracts into the body of the shuttle and then the doors slide shut and you hear a almost like some kind of hiss that seems like it's sealing in some way pressurizing maybe the sound effects on these doors work better you do feel some kind of bobbing motion as if something moves or you rise up and as you all uh, sat there, the lights come on on the control panel and this angled panel that goes down that would be like a window, it is some kind of screen that flickers on and you can see the exterior of the, um, the, load of the shuttle bay that you just saw from the outside. So you're seeing what seems to be now the shuttle is starting to lift. A panel um, on the what seems to be normally some kind of manual control panel lights up and just says autopilot engaged. Are there windows in the show? No, this looks like, again, that it's some kind of, you are seeing through some kind of camera that's on the outside rather than it being, rather than it being a window directly into space. That's highly suspicious, don't you think? I do. Are there cameras inside the shuttle? Uh, no, there's not cameras inside here that you can see anyway. Yeah, they could be moving the props around outside. Yeah, this is Disneyland shit. Yeah, except that we killed that thing and it wasn't human anymore. That's why I'm like, I, I, I'm really uncomfortable by the level at which I don't know what is real and what isn't because there's actual things dying and there's actual things hurting. and and, and Okay, we saw the monster and it was real, but that doesn't mean that we're in outer space still. Please. No, it doesn't. But I kind of believe that we are on our way to a zoo. Well, if if we leave, if we if we're we're in like a shuttle bay, right? Yes. So when we leave the shuttle bay, we should be able to see the ship. Mm-hmm. If yeah, or we'll be able to see three D graphics of the ship. Three D graphics of the ship, right? The ship seems, or the shuttle seems to bob as if it's uh, hovering, but it definitely feels like you're not static. And indeed, this is reflected in the images you're seeing coming up on the monitors. The bay doors open up and the shuttle lurches forward, at which point there's a moment when you are flung into what seems to be out, out of interstellar space. And we feel the acceleration, the movement of the ship. Yes. In our bodies. Yeah. And as you then fly out through the, um, through those window, uh, through those uh, shuttle bay doors, there's a lurching to one side and the, the, the seemingly the tilt on the monitors changes accordingly and you're watching yourselves banking round and you get a good view of the ship from the outside and this is not any kind of human design that makes much sense as with the closest thing that if any of you maybe uh, filter back through little holes in your memory 
might recall some film event horizon where you've got again a very badly constructed ship that made no kind of engineering sense other than i need a plot device to say there's a corridor that runs between point a and point b in the ship that's kind of what you're looking at that instead of it being uh called blob at one end and then engines at the other you have two I think, think of them as wheels in space with a spoke connected between them. Okay. And each each of them is rotating in a different direction with this central corridor but um, connecting bit between them. You've popped out of the upper one, and you can see as you're banking round, there is a door, uh, a sh another shuttle bay door opening on the lower one. But that connecting tunnel between them evidently seems like it has taken some kind of hit from a meteorite, perhaps, but That's there's where holes, gonna... there's holes That's... in it, and you can see gas being vented from it as well. That there is no way you'd be able to go down that internal corridor. So that's where it seems to be going to be separating. When the shuttle bay moves into outer space, do we now feel weightless? No. Because I would think the wheels would spinning would have caused the artificial gravity, but now we're not in the wheels. Mm -hmm. Something's um, wrong here. Were, were we ever though? That was there a curvature to the floor? It was no, like it was, a, just all, yeah, it it was, was like an flat. H shape, right? Like, yeah, it wasn't very circular at all. It all completely flat inside. Uh, as you come um, start banking round and lining up with the second shuttle bay that you're going into, there's a sudden dip and the front end of the uh, front of the shuttle goes down and likewise you can see this reflected in the um, in the monitors warning signs start or what you think are warning signs start coming up on the manual panel as it says error 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 and suddenly there's a series of buttons that would be you think push this way for pi uh, for angle inclination down push this way for inclination up <clears throat> and Manual override, dis uh, manual override engaged. Who wants to try and pilot this thing? It's Miranda and Sam. Yeah, <laughs> it's the two I'm, of us in the front. I play a lot of video games. This is just like, oh no, I only play that candy one. <laughs> <laughs> this is Candy Crush Saga in space. <laughs> right, uh, who wants to give me a drive skill check? Uh -oh. <laughs> This ain't computers. Oh, sure. Sam, you're good at driving, right? Oh, that's an 08. Yeah. Hey. Sam's a natural. What can you say? Um, yeah, then these are quite intuitive controls. It's literally push right to go right, push left to go left, down to go uh, down to go up, and uh, well, up to go down, because it's a yeah, different angle. And yet you are quite happily to bring this thing in. And as it comes into the shuttle bay, um, all the lights flick off and it comes manual um it comes automatic pilot re-engaged and it brings you in for a safe landing it, it bobs for a second and then you hear you feel and hear a funk as it lands on the a similar kind of platform and yeah, you hear this depressurizing <laughs> sound uh, the doors at the back of the shuttle open and the stepladder goes down Okay. Sam, you saved her bacon again. Yeah. Um, fancy piloting. Control controls for a monkey, basically. If any of us could have done it, really. All right. Well, we should be on no, we should be very wary for any of those alien freaks that are running around. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've got um, my gun out. I'm ready. We're not I'm not taking any chances. Miranda, you've got the, the, the plastic cylinder gun. I think Jenny has that, right? Yeah, um, and I was given what four six. I, I gave you mine. I don't know. I gave you mine. Did four everybody nine. give me that? Okay, okay. So I have yes. Yeah, so we have we have the the weapon and six bullets, ammunition, or power. Bullets. There could be yeah. power, power yeah. supplies. Who knows? I'm expecting some Marvin the Martian kind of nonsense. Like you'll pull the trigger and one of those plastic things will shoot the flag out. Flag will go then, out and say bang. Well, yeah. <laughs> An umbrella will open. Might kill a net. Yeah, could be nets. 
Maybe. Uh, we we can't afford to waste a shot to find out if there yeah. are six of them awake. Yeah, don't miss. Oh, the step ladder at the back or slides back down, hits the interior of the uh, the shuttle bay. So for those of you poking your head outside, uh, the double doors are now behind you and off again, pointing uh, opposite where the ladder goes down, you can see another airlock similar to the one that you were on on the upper level. Is it similar or is it identical? It's similar. It's not exactly the same. The colour's different uh, down here. Um, upstairs, you had a set of orange doors. Down here is a set of blue doors. All right. Ready for the airlock? Locked and loaded, I think, is the corny expression. Mm -hmm. But the door does open up. And everyone's heading inside, it, uh, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Grabbing the cucumbers yeah, and we'll go. And again, then there's your little octagonal, um, yeah, octagonal room. Once all six of you are inside, the door to the uh, the shuttle bay shuts, and then green light comes on the other uh, the other side, and it opens up into a room very similar, but obviously a mirror version. It's inverted of the computer room that you were in upstairs. And this one, there is just the empty chair and there is no alien figure there. So the control panel is pristine down here. Mm. Um, otherwise, the room is fairly sterile and very um, lifeless. We want to approach the screen and call for father. Yeah, yeah, see if yeah. we can. Yeah, yeah, that. maybe look at the control panel. See what. We yeah, can see if we it. could get them to convert it, because they obviously know English, because the we had English in the the shuttle. If they could convert these controls over, we we might be able to like locate stuff without having to filter it through a uh, mother. Yeah, it's worth a try. Let's see what we can turn on. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only seeming panel that you can do stuff with is this kind of horseshoe type um, desk with these blocks and cones and such that are all lit up in a myriad of colors. Um, they do look as though that these blocks can come out or at least be pulled out part way or pushed into the desk. But again, there's no real rhyme or reason as to how these things might work. This do doesn't look like a human interface. Right. Not at all. A little fortress of solitude, maybe. Um, uh, I'm going... Uh, does anybody object to my messing with the control panel? No, no it's... It. We're either going to shot. die or... So that I'm going to look for something green in the center that's got uh, <laughs> angles to it rather than smooth curves. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get going to test its pressure. Like, does it slide easily in or out? Okay, give, give me a dex check. <laughs> oh god, I'm pretty dexterous, but I rolled a ninety-four. Okay, this thing doesn't seem to want to move. You do find there is a green central one there, but it doesn't seem to want to want to do anything at all. Uh, all right. Well, maybe I shouldn't like inadvertently evacuate all the air from the vessel anyway uh, before at least we fight with the green guys and find out whether there's any place to sleep or anything to eat. Yeah, Unless anybody else wants to try. In, in frustration, you kind of step back. And as you do so, the same, well, not the same drawer, because, say, different room. There's another drawer in the same location as where the one with the gun was in the previous uh, computer room pops open, and you can see there are a series of silver packets inside. In fact, there are six of them in there. Silver packets? Yeah, I kind like, of think you think something them? a bit like a Sunny D or a Capri Sun type of uh, ah uh, drink. It, it, yeah, you feel it doesn't look so much of a drink thing because there isn't a straw, but it definitely bulges as if it has some kind of liquid or some kind of goo inside of it. And on the on the front of it, it says anti radiation protect exposed skin. 
Okay. I guess each of us should have one of these. I don't like the fact that... Okay. These... I don't like the necessity for this to have been supplied. Jesus. But I'll uh, just be part of the precautions, but... All right, so I'm going to tear it one. open. Yeah, the, there is a couple of perforations on either side at one end. I, so I if, wouldn't... You, if you give it a good tug, it does tear open. Yeah, I'll just open it. Okay, it opens up, and you can see from the inside there is a bluish gunk inside. I'll put, like, my pinky in it. Does it burn my pinky off, or does it just feel like a bomb or a lotion? I'll feels just drink like it. A, feels more like a lotion, yeah. I'll, 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 rub, I'll start rubbing it on my skin, then. Okay. Um, put it on yeah, your yeah. foot. Yeah, I'll put yeah. it on my foot. That actually feels fairly good, putting it on the burn. Um, the thing that you notice quite, uh, and everyone else will notice, is that uh, you can now make a good impression of a Smurf. Um, your mm. skin starts turning blue and staining blue quite uh, quite quickly. Well, uh, if this protects me from radiation, I'm okay looking like this. Or if it poisons you. I was about to hear, how can we trust this? Hey, he turned blue, not green, so at least there's that. Why is it written in English? Right. Can I look at the control panel? Because they want us to read while they watch us. Right. Test. It's got to be a test or something. Maybe they want to see which species is worth saving. Maybe they just want to see which one of us monkeys kills the other ones. I, uh, I'll take one of those packets, but I'll put it in my pocket. Um, Same. I yeah. want to look at that con- that same control panel. I'm I feel like I'm pretty intelligent. Maybe I can figure it out. Okay. Uh, give me a dex roll to see if you if well, presumably if you start lifting stuff and moving stuff around. A dex roll. Oh, 37 out of 55. You you kind of wiggle that big green cucumber-like stalk that mm-hmm. uh, Sergey was looking at. And also push a couple of the a uh, couple of the blocks either side of it. Yeah, <laughs> that kind of motion. And as you do uh, give it a good rub, it does finally light up, and you can hear Mother's voice uh, come through from the uh, from the main monitor on the far side of the room again. Mother, yeah. uh, father. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, it's just time to evacuation now. Nineteen minutes thirty seconds. We have successfully come to the other side of the ship, Father. Mm-hmm. All right. The exit to your... Uh, from the direction you are... Uh, in fact, actually, direct... Uh, no, because that's the, where the panel is. The entrance to your right will lead to an access corridor that will take you to the power plant. <clears throat> in the power plant, you will find there are a series of cylinders that connect from floor to ceiling. We need six active cylinders to be able to restore power to um, to stabilize the fluctuation in the system. My current sensors indicate there are three cylinders currently active. Three are not. How do we activate the cylinders? Place them. Uh, there are three that are currently shown as being on the floor. Put these into the available slots and then activate each cylinder. All right. Can uh, uh, I'm we should do that because we could we need that other half if we can have it. There's food over there, yeah. So, yeah, well, let's go we, try to, yeah. We want the ship to be under full power because we want life support to be maintained and so right. on. So, let's, for the time being, also the air filtration system, right? You know, like we want all that to keep working because that's apparently. A thing. We air, want... air, fil- air, fil- air filtration and life support can be up, um, can be monitored from the central control room at the far end of the corridor. All right, let's let's do that. We've we've got our primitive weapons. Let's we'll store uh, our produce here for later. Be careful. Yeah, sure, we can do that here, and uh, we will. Uh, Let's move quietly and keep our eyes open for greenies. How are the what's the camera situation like in this control room? Uh, back here, there are still cameras in the ceiling everywhere. 
And the security did they, monitoring was everywhere. Do they move at all or are they static? They're static. Fair enough. Okay. Power <clears throat> power station. Right. As you move towards the, the door that leads out of here. Time for hand the last of your handouts, handout number five. So you should only have one that's remaining, but to confirm for each one. So Sam, you've got number one. Sergey's got number three. Miranda's got number five. Max has also got number five. Jenny's got number two. And Philip's yep. got number one. Yeah, so I'm kind of going to move ahead and move quietly. You know, I go to the corner of things before I go around a corner if there's a corridor and keep an eye out. Is there any way anything could get into the ceiling? Like a not vent that you, or? Okay. Not that you can see. Okay. It might well, not be a bad idea mm -hmm. to let one of them see us because then it'll come at us and we can kill it mm -hmm. better to know where your enemy is than to mm -hmm. as you say you're going off into a corner before you go around a door for example mm -hmm. you're going over to the other door the one that leads out into this corridor that uh, right. was gestured right the door doesn't open when you get over to it but you can smell something horrible from the uh, from something maybe coming through from the other side of that door Jesus. It smells terrible. It's, it it a, smells a like rotten smell? eggs. Like sulfur. Like rotten eggs. Yeah. Like butt eggs? I don't know. You know what, like, I mean, we smelled them recently. Eggs. It's seared into my mind. And it's a seared well, into my mind. We need well. to destroy those eggs. Yeah. Well, that might be careful. the way it reproduces. We, well, we might want to keep some of the eggs if we can keep them you know, stable. They might be, you know, they're full of acid. Good. It burned his they skin. Explode. They're they're being registered as life forms too. They're not unfertilized eggs. Do you really want to eat that? I mean, how we, how do we get rid of them if they're exploding without like use wasting the ammo and shooting it? Do we throw stuff at it? Right. Throw or throw it? Just throw it across the room. I'm something. not picking it up. I'll throw something at it. We okay. could use some gloves. We could use some swords. I hope they're just, not like, like take off your shirt, balls. like wrap your hands, just throw it. Shirt, we have jumpsuits. Right. Is there any? And they're kind of How's... precious. How, uh, Max? How do your legs look? That stuff's not hasn't spread or anything. Uh, it think. looks like uh, well, my legs blue. Mm. Uh, uh, definitely, it's definitely a smurf. Looks like a uh, minor acid burn. Okay. I was just thinking, like, puffballs explode when you brush up and they throw their spores all over you. No, it doesn't look infected. Because it didn't have a little baby alien inside of it either, did it? No. It was meant to explode. Well, maybe it, it was undeveloped. No. It, it it exploded when it, when it knew Max was about to squash it. Yeah, it explodes to do what? To spread its goo. <laughs> Keep an eye on I, Max. I, Philip might have a point. Philip might have a point. I, 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 I don't like it, but point. I think he does. Some kind of point. Like, why Look, would it explode itself? That doesn't make any sense. Like, there needs to be some explanation. Well, you see it's fine, but... I think there are, like, What are you insinuating, Philip? I'm insinuating that you were the only one that got splashed with that stuff. We don't know how this thing works. I'm fine. Well, Sergey also got suckered. So, I mean. Well, I got backhanded, uh, back tentacled. Yeah. yeah. He didn't get splattered with, with exploding. Egg. Right. But I mean, they both, like, th they seem fine so far. I mean, does, does anyone an else out? remember anything about them from when like, we. Ourselves? Them. Treats? The things that we fought with before on Earth. I remember the just, giant tentacles disgusting. coming out of the ocean. Yeah, I mean, uh, disgusting in their the heads. That's what Matt, I remember. Do we 
do we have any indi- like do I think that the green things are the same things that we fought earlier or no or not or do I not know? Uh the latter, you are not sure. Okay. Um I mean the if if my memory serves me correctly, the things that attacked us on Earth, they came from the water. Right. Like the right from the, the island. From the and island. Because Wait, of some astro astrological island. thing, the place was like it was flooding. I, I don't trust my memories. I only trust where we are now. Because I remember it, them coming from the sky. I remember that some of them could pass for human. That's what I remember very clearly that you couldn't, you didn't know who was who. And what I have come to remember is that some people worshipped them and helped them. Mm-hmm. That's Ooh. correct. Let's lay it out all on the table. All right, you murdered my sister by giving her bad drugs, you drug Damn dealer. It. Okay, listen, Philip, I appreciate that maybe that maybe that happened. Okay, maybe that did. But we have a lot of weird funky stuff going on with our minds, and there's kind of the whole alien invasion thing that I, I think takes precedent. Now I, I we can solve the murder thing later. I'm concerned that if my if our memories of the invasion are correct, then well. Then yeah, then I want to know why Miranda was worshiping them and was one of the cultists. What? Is that not I don't. consistent Does that with what you, you recall? I worked on the the battle robots. The one their battle fought. robots? No, I don't think they had battle robots. No, they they got me out of prison. Why were you in prison, Miranda? It's not for my fault. Why were you in prison? Why were you in prison, Sam? Because I was a guard in prison, Miranda. Why yeah, were you, you were in supposed prison? to be my friend. I was, I got, look, people got arrested. Be, uh, I, I just knocked out a security system. Okay, that's all I did. That's all I did. You knocked out a security system so that you could Let help them. You guys are no. all a bunch of criminals. I don't know why I'm here at all. I, I thought I loved the drugs. you. You you're letting those freaks out. You let them loose. What? No, 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 no. This was before the prison. Oh shit! But you know what? This is what they want, isn't it? Yes. To it sow is. the seeds of discord among all of us, and so we all start fighting each other. Yeah, I don't know what like. And I'm like I said, I'm really confused because like I, I we, we've all had a couple of epiphanies and some were like, oh, yeah, like I remembered about the I remembered that, you know, that uh, I was in the resistance and that I saw Miranda or whatever. And then other ones are like, oh, I remember that I have a dog. Like, Don't you find then, it odd that and then we are I was, all getting and then I was these, engaged? We're getting these memories at the same time. That's why I'm really I'm like what from is... one place to another. Wait. Maybe there's like ass in the air or that 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 brain in a jar that you found that when you hooked it up, it spoke to you. It spoke aloud. It wasn't personal. Right. What if you could it be possible that someone's fucking with our brains and causing these things to happen? Like these memories? I think yeah. it is consistent with what we're experiencing i'm not sure that those weren't our brains but i don't seem to have any i'm just like which which of which of the which of the past is the real one like were we all did we all have normal lives with our dogs and partners and things like that was there some sort of prison break or and was there an alien invasion yeah which I of think these is the thing we all have memories of an alien invasion and fighting some freakish creatures i think that is the one so that's that's the same page that we we land on so let's just concentrate on that stick together ignore everything else well of course if you did poison philip's sister with bad dope you would have an inclination to want to brush over it but i have no memory of being a drug dealer yeah I think the, it's survival. The problem is, is that Miranda does remember. Uh, Why are you scratching yourself? What's wrong with you? Well, 
I, I mean, you've been okay. scratching yourself for it's the not... last two minutes. What's wrong with you? This is just a very stressful situation, and I think we need to stop wasting time because, by my count, we're at least down to fifteen. Right, this is what? Bullshit. What are you? What are you hiding? Oh, we gotta turn the power hiding? back on. Apparently. Yeah, right. We should Let's... probably do that, and then we can cast a blame all over the place if we want. Because it's like, because because Philip Philip thinks that Max killed his sister, but Max doesn't remember being a drug dealer. Philip thinks that I saved him from the water, which does make sense with what I remember, but I don't remember that at all. I remember Miranda being a cultist, worshipping the things that we were fighting, and she apparently doesn't remember that at all. And then there's another thing that hasn't been talked about yet, but I probably won't be remembered if it is mentioned. Well... So we all have we all know we all have memories of each other that the, the the person doesn't remember. Yeah. Nobody seems to remember me at all. Uh well, well I, I, I you. But you I know what? My pattern you. that I'm I'm seeing here is that we all have negative association memories with other people, which is I think sowing the seeds of just Phillips was positive. We don't Except think for so Philip and Jenny. Yeah, Philip thinks that I saved him. My only memories of you, yeah. My only memory of Surge is a negative one, and Ma- and Jenny's memory of Miranda is a negative one. Like it's it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It doesn't. And Phillips no. memory of Max is a negative. I do think that, that we probably should ha- we should probably talk as we move to the life to, to power. We should probably so we can turn pry the this door open, shoot the monsters you inside, have a rash, and fix the- Miranda. What are you doing? Just stressed out, Sam. I'm, I'm going to open up the stinking door. Okay, you go up to it, and you can just about manage to get your fingertips into the into the groove in the middle, and then pry it open. The first thing you are hit with is the stench that comes out of here, and you can see there is a corridor that goes along, and then at the far end, it there appears a sharp ninety degree turn to the right. The walls are dripping with this black green ichor. It's puddled all over the floor. The lights are sparking and intermittently flickering all the way down the corridor. But you can see that there are two doors midway down the corridor. So that, say, midway, it's got a junction like a a crossroads. So with doors left and right. And then the corridor just goes on and then does its 90 degree turn beyond that. Also dotted along the walls are these egg sacs. They're the size of footballs rather than the small thing that came out of this uh, out of uh, dead guy's butt in the uh, in the garden room. So the one that uh, popped and went on Max looks like, as you said, it was underdeveloped. These things look like they are a bit more fertilized and they are pulsing. So we want to use which of the is the the knife is too small. You'll get acid Close. all over yourself. I, I say yeah. try Jenny's gun. I'm does curious look, to see what it does. Does it look worse and worse and worse as it goes down the corridor? Uh, they look like they're relatively evenly spaced down the corridor, but the heights are different. And also, we, uh, you know, we're walking barefoot through this sludge. Slipping so, and sliding through the sludge. Yeah, and maybe getting burned by it. Uh, I really would give my eye teeth for a pair of good boots. Is there anything feeding these sacks, like providing nutrition or anything? They're just stuck? Not that you can see, but they are still within this streaming um, patches of goo all over the wall. Maybe it's drawing sustenance from the goo. Right, right. Jenny, do you think you could line up that Pea shooter and get a couple of them at once. Uh, do you think we should waste these on the eggs? Well, the eggs um, will hatch. If I had a baseball bat, if they're going to explode anyway, we can just throw stuff at them, like Max suggested. Throw you can what? do a quick count up. There are twelve of these eggs going down the corridor. You have not got right. twelve ammo between you. And they're they're kind of in the corner of the where the roof meets the floor. Some of them are up high, some of them are down low, some of them are in the middle at head height. They're all over the walls. Yeah, I was hoping uh, Jenny could shoot through a couple of them if they, you know, lined up. But do we know do we know which direction we're supposed to go to get to the 
control room. The power? The power. Yeah. The control room was said to be at the end of the corridor. All right. The power plant presumably is one of these two rooms in the middle. We can just Are... go past them for the moment. Let's just go to the power. We don't have time. So the other door is the uh, containment area where the specimens would be by process Possibly. of elimination. Um, are there any of those things right near the doors? Uh, they are fairly close to the door, so yeah. Um, I mean, if you were to get to the, the crossroads area, that seems like a bit of a clear section, so you wouldn't be in danger there. You just have to get to it. I'm going to run. Recklessly. You're just going to full, full, full pelt run. Right, I'm going to full pelt run to the, the thing. Hey, I'm just in shock. Uh, in the moment that you uh, you start to run, imagine that we freeze frame for a second. What's everyone's luck? Uh, 51. 53. 53. 51. 48. Oh, 50, sorry. Apologies. 59. 54. Oh, wait. That's one. <laughs> 54. That sounds like Sam has the highest luck. Yes. I'm at 51. So oh, 51. Oh, 59. 53. Okay. Jenny Jenny seems to have 54. Okay. So Jenny has the highest luck. Is that good or bad? I, you'll find out. <laughs> I guess so. Uh, right. Um, Philip goes for a full-blown run. So give me a hard dex check. Oh, it went sideways. 42. That is a regular dex. How much luck would it be to make it a... Yeah. Well, I'd have to spend about, let's see, 27. Oh, no, I, my bad. I'm looking at the wrong section. No, a regular is fine, even if you're just sprinting. So that's fine. Right. Um, a combination of running and sliding between the patches, but you, um, as you say, you're a surfer, you're quite uh, adept at doing this. You can almost tilt uh, kind of sideways on and glide down the corridor. And as you do so, uh, I get to use a pod. So I have a 50% chance of hitting you, but I do it with a penalty die because you succeeded your roll. Curses. And Eight, I've got a big choice of 86 or 86. Come on, polyhedral gods. Um, as, you, as you slide down the corridor, you hear this from behind you. And the others that watch uh, Philip run notice that one of the pods kind of gyrates slightly, pulsates, and then explodes. And something about the size of a hand that has a big bulbous back end of it and a series of squid-like limbs or maybe like a baby octopus flies out and hits on the other, the opposite wall of the corridor and then slowly starts to slide down until it finally sticks in place and doesn't slide down anymore. It's like face hugger, but it missed me. Yeah, about a, literally about a little octopus about the size of a hand. So it just goes and splats on the other side of the corridor. Um, but you arrive, slipping and sliding, uh, directly in the middle of the uh, middle of this little spare um, safe spot between the two doors. Uh, both mm -hmm. doors open as you get to them. One of them is a tremendous light show where you can see these large glass cylinders that connect from floor to ceiling that are all sparking different colours. And the other door opens to what looks like some kind of storeroom. There's a there's a there's a single chair and table off on one side and a big um, locker on the far, um, again, on the door, uh, the side of the room opposite the door. Uh, the, the locker door is shut. But yeah, that room seems quite boring. It's quite almost empty. It's basically the locker and bugger all else in there. And then you've got the power plant opposite it. Okay. I am going to go to the power plant, but I'll, I'll you know, next round. Mm -hmm. Who's next? I think I'm going to walk uh, uh, swiftly with determination toward the first of the eggs and tase it. Okay. Um, 
give me a dex roll to see if you can get close enough to it to tase it before it fires. Okay, regular success. Okay, uh, now you can give me a fighting brawl roll. Wish I'd done a little more brawling when I was alive. Uh, 27, I think that's just... I spend two to make that a success. Okay, um, you jab the taser into it then, just as this thing starts to quiver, and you pull the trigger on the taser or push the button on it, and it jabs it with a jolt of electricity. So when it explodes and the, the squid or the little octopus inside it fires at you, it's dead when it lands on you. It's, it kind of sticks. Ugh. It's covered in this viscous, almost um, adhesive mess, but it doesn't burn. But you also notice that the, the octopus in this case is very dead. Okay. Twelve. She said there were 18 life forms, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So now they're... Were, yeah. Good. All right. So I'm going to continue again probably we'll sort of enter into semi rounds here but i'll obviously like have my arm up as i go to jab the next one down okay is anyone else going down the corridor at this point as well or are you letting uh sergey go ahead and try to clear the way for the rest of you uh brave brave uh brave people i'm gonna go forward as well Okay, but well, I'm I'm I don't have any hand instrument. I don't want to whip the gun out, but I I want to be in the thick of it. So gotcha. I'll I'll just follow along. Okay, if Sergey's clearing the next one, you can give me another. Uh, you can give me another dex check to see if you can get to it and potentially tase it before it explodes. Because when you get close enough to these things, they do start to and get ready to explode in your face. Hard dex. Okay. And then fighting brawl. Fighting brawl. Oh, man. Uh, can I... Sp- <sighs> that sounds like, can I spend a lot of luck? Well, it's only 11, but I don't have very much. Ooh. Uh, and there are 12 of these things. Yep. Yeah, I. but I'm otherwise... I mean, if I try to tase it and fail to... It's just going to land on me, and that's not going to be pretty. So, taking a hit. So you're going to allow it to explode on and onto you? Yeah. Oh no, I'm no, I'm taking the the luck hit. I'm tasing. Oh right, right. Okay. In which case, you go and again. Electricity surges through it, and then there's a and this again pops and dead octopus. Uh, in this case, sticks to your arm and then falls off. Is there enough room? Like, do I think that I could, if I was quick enough, kick one of them so that it would like splatter against the wall and not get on me? I, you could try it. Are, are I you think, good at parkour? Uh, I am. I am. I am. I am. I am very good at moving around. Uh, you're barefoot. I yeah, I don't want. Well, fuck. I am barefoot. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> um. Hmm. Uh, well, we have that. We have that table leg, right? Yeah, hey, I've, got, I've got a table leg. Mm-hmm. I guess I could just try to, like, you know, run by and slash the at them, and then keep running. Okay, if you're running past, you can give me a dex roll to see if you can uh, whether you're going to slip aside. Yeah. And I'm not waiting. Um, I'm just. I'm going to keep going. Gotcha. Uh, so that is a hard dex. Okay, you are fine to uh, to not uh, to be uh, not on your ass as you go yeah. down here. Uh, give me a fighting brawl roll to see if you can sure. whack one of these things. Um, ooh, uh, I will also spend eleven luck to make it a success, which means I'm down to forty three. Okay, so again, um, you whack the thing and you send it mm-hmm. uh, flying down the corridor. As again, it bursts mid uh, mid air as it goes down, and the thing just. The octopus inside, still alive, uh, suckers mm-hmm. onto the wall, and you can see it sticks after it slides down about a foot or so. But it kind of wiggles around and then just again it, it twitches, but it's because it's stuck to the wall; it doesn't go anywhere. Oh. Uh, rather than proceed 
uh, into repetitive series of mm-hmm. either tasing and whacking. Between the two of you, as you're doing fairly well at the minute, mm-hmm. you're able to get down the corridor, clearing the distance to get to that mm-hmm. safe, uh, that crossroads. Meanwhile, Philip is in the uh, in the power plant. You can see that there are indeed three of these large tubes, which are somehow almost think, thinking like a battery that they've been jettisoned out of their holder right. and they now lie on the floor. They may have been rocking at one point, but they're stationary now. Uh, each of these things looks like they contain fluid of some kind. They've got a kind of frosted glass uh, cover around them, so you can't see exactly what's inside, but you can, uh, you can definitely see there are pockets of bubbles in there. And it looks like some kind of liquid just by from where the position of the bubbles are. Uh, a fairly runny liquid as well. So this it's not probably not water, but it's some kind of coloured liquid. Are these big heavy things or they run floor to ceiling? You are gonna require at least three people to carry these things. Shit. Yeah, you I can't was gonna barricade the door, but uh uh, there's um, no, no, the, the door is a sliding thing like this, but it's also the door is open. So there's nothing to really barricade with. Okay. But yeah, these things are heavy. You, well, you then I'm going to look around to see if there's any more football aliens. Nothing in here. Um, there are, say, room for 12 cylinders. Uh, each one da, 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 so fits into a slot vertical, uh, vertically, so one in the ceiling and one in the floor as well. By the floor at the base of each one, there looks to be a control pad where there's three buttons uh, in a row. They're all dark, apart from the ones where there are uh, cylinders which are upright. Nine of them are in place, uh, but only three of the nine ones that are standing are illuminated. You can see there's kind of this sickly orange, uh, not orange, uh, yellowy green fluid inside with a light that kind of pulses upwards through it. At the bottom, those ones that have been lit, you can see the buttons below have, one is red, oh no, sorry. Yeah, one is red, one is green, one is blue. And all three lights are on? On the ones where it's still powered, yes. yes. There are, say, three powered, six that are dark. Uh, right. It looks like there's cracks in the in the glass. And then the three which are lying on the floor with the three slots for them. Okay. Um, and these, the lights, do they look like buttons? Yes, they are. Okay. So I put them in, you get them in place, and you turn the buttons on one, two, three. Um, that seems obvious. I'm going to look around. What else is in this room? That is it. There's nothing that really seems like there's there's no control panels on the walls there's just the the same just steel paneling that you've seen throughout the whole shit right so i'm going to go back over to the door and say yeah, i i it, it, okay so i'm i'm like a little bit around the corner mm-hmm. so i can't really see back down the corridor where they are which is kind of good for you, as there's another whack as uh, Max plays whack a, a whack a, a whack an egg, and so this thing goes flying past the gap and splats onto the wall further down the corridor. Okay, and are there any other doors out of this room? No, there's only the door out into the corridor. There's no other exit door. Who designed this place? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm I'm just going to wait there for them. And after probably about three or four minutes, this is ch- eaten into a chunk of your time. So as uh, Jenny was saying about the time, that time of counting down, you must be getting close to about 10 minutes by now. I'll yell, oh. dudes come first. I need, he- I need people who can lift stuff. These things are heavy. That's sexist. Yeah. I'm literally stronger than like half the guys we came with. Well, then let Jenny come. I don't care. We need strong people. So there's still. Okay. Like Sam. But there's still eggs on the wall, right? We've cleared it to the midway. Get your asses down here. Yep. Just make a run for it. I've got a private message to reply to. One sec. Someone's trying something dumb. Oh, boy. (laughs) Kissing them. (laughs) 
<laughs> They're like frogs in a fairy tale. Okay. So if they turn into giant lizard things then with, with reptile words. 30 seconds later. Right, I'll see if they bite. <clears throat> <laughs> the suspense is killing me. <laughs> like, which one of you? Which one of you crazies? No, they're not. They're not biting. Okay, so um, all of you arrive down at the uh, down at that. Um, <laughs> seeing the chat, someone got it. Someone did it right. <laughs> um, you can see there is the crossroads that you come to. Um, all of the corridor is clear up to that point. So you can go either into the storeroom or into the power plant. Come on, I need help. These things are huge. Power first, yeah. We've got to... Yeah. I mean, actually, I'm reasonably strong. Uh, Jenny's bragging about her strength. Three of us can do <laughs> them. And the rest of you can look at the yeah. locker room. That sounds good. Because there might be weapons in there that we find useful. Yeah, Just I'm don't let Max strong. look alone. I'll do the Max and I can go to the locker room if he's not very strong. Yeah, somebody should go with you and Max to the locker room. I'll go to the locker room with yeah. this is brief. You don't you don't trust me. I handed over my gun. You did. I really appreciated that. You Although... handed over your gun before you were infected. I knew we don't know That's that he got arguing. infected. We don't, we don't actually know that he got. Anyway, let's let's okay. We are wasting time. Yeah, well, power crew thing. Go do. Let's do the things. Team which A, end, team B. Which end of this battery is positive and which end is negative? I I don't think we want to put him in upside down. There's nothing that distinguishes each end. Yeah, just let's put him in. All right. Let's say they're on the floor. We'll assume that the end closer to the right. hole is where they came from. Correct. They didn't spin around and land. I mean, it's our best guess. Are there? What are the ends of these cylinders like? They seem to be flat uh, metal, but there's definitely a a rim of almost like a rubber around the outside, and then a metal plate in the middle of it. They look like fuses, like big long fuses. Exactly like that. You snap them in. Hey, as long as they work. Yep. Lift. Right, this is where you might have to do some tactical thinking. It requires three of you to do it. One of you that takes the lead on this needs to give me an extreme strength check to be able to get this uh, to get this thing in place. Ooh, at sixty-five, Jenny. Jenny has the most strength of any of us. Apparently. I I said I specifically <laughs> said that you shouldn't just go by gender. I wasn't saying I was the strongest person in the room. I was I'm, just saying some people. I'm, <laughs> Max are clearly I'm, not strong. I'm fairly, <laughs> Sam are. I'm physically fit. I am. I am larger and stronger than most people. I will help. So I'll take the. I'll take the lead. Okay. Okay. You said a hard. No, an extreme. You said an extreme. And this is per Wait. cylinder. Wait, maybe maybe I should do this because I have luck. That's why I was saying about tactical thinking. Uh, right. Um, so we're, you know, for an extreme, I'm looking at 14. We're meta like all hack. Mm. Do you have uh, do you have a lot of luck? Nobody has a lot of luck, and I have less than no, anybody else. I, I have, have 13 hanging. I'd have to get. But I've got 50, 53. All right, I'm gonna try the first one. Okay, then you if you you I mean, yeah, I guess we can take turns. I guess sir try the first oh, one. Oh two reward all for right. bravery. Nice. Snap. Okay. Right. But between the three of you, then you kind of bear hug this thing and get it up mm -hmm. and then walk it over to the slot and click it in place. At which point the uh, the three buttons at the bottom light up and then it goes red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green, blue. It's another goddamn puzzle. We have to push one of these. So red, how green, blue. All three of them. They're they're already lit up on the other ones. Well, no, the other ones. One is lit on each, right? No, they're all lit up on on all of them. Oh, I, yeah. I you were there before me. I I misunderstood. Yeah. 
Red, green, blue. Do we, do we need to hit anything, or does it look like it's on? Do you push? No, do you push it, the red we need one? to push the buttons. Oh, you push the red one first. Yes. Uh, give me a dodge roll because the thing gets uh, the thing literally gets clicked and falls. Uh, the uh, the cylinder falls directly towards you like it's going to land on you, and it's really fucking heavy. That's the release. Uh, yep, you found the release button. Congrats. Yeah, I got seventy eight out of twenty seven. Do you want to spend some luck, or do you want to let this thing hit you? Oh, I'd have to spend all of my luck. Um. I will. I will literally have to drop to zero luck. It's up to you. But you've also got another two of these things to put in place. Remember. I'll let it hit me. Okay. The plus uh, the plus side here is that you are going to break its fall. Let's see if you're lucky enough that your breaking its fall doesn't shatter the glass. So give me a luck roll. Oh, boy. <laughs> that looks good. 93. Right. Um, I'd say with that kind of decent luck... Um, <laughs> You can also give me a spot hidden roll as well. Twenty five. What is my? You said th- there was there was more cylinders than there were slots, right? There were. We need three, three. cylinders on the floor and three empty uh, slots. I I have twenty five of spot hidden, and I rolled a twenty five. Okay, so just um, right. This thing cracks when it it hits you, uh, which will inflict one d six damage in the process. And it does it does you a couple of points. So, as you definitely get battered as this thing wedges on the floor, but as it then cracks open, you smell the interior of this liquid start to flow flow all over you, and the rest of you uh, uh, again smell this stuff go leaking out onto the floor, and it smells like piss. It smells awful, really kind of rancid smell it's it's pretty damn horrible does it burn no it just soaks soaks you in piss oh all right this is a fucking prank Uh, you also notice that as the last as this thing breaks because you now have no possible way of getting all uh, three slots into the uh, into the power slots a klaxon starts sounding and it uh, gives you this wonderfully uh, optimistic message it's like error in primary resonance nodule error in secondary bypass structures what are you doing to me diagnostic malfunction malfunction in internal relay analysis stop this mal meanwhile in the storeroom opposite um, you've got an you've got a room with a chair and uh, basically a locker on the far side. The locker is locked, it is shut. There is no key and no sign of a key. Not here anyway. Is it like an actual lock? A physical yeah, it's lock? Like a, it's, it's a lock. That you imagine it's going to be a, a standard lever release inside. So you, you think you could probably try and break it open. Yeah, I'm going to start cigarettes. smashing. Okay, give me a... Where's the... We can find. Uh, we can probably find tools. Hopefully, that will help put those cylinders in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If only you'd come here uh, earlier. Yeah, you think it's gonna be that easy? Uh, give me a strength <laughs> roll uh, if you want to try and break into the thing. One hundred. That's good, right now. <laughs> yeah, you bout. You got a fist into this thing. Uh, you leave a big imprint in it with your fist size uh, shape, and promptly pull your hand back, shaking, going. Ah! Uh, you can take a D3 in damage for that. That was not the smartest move. Uh, one damage. Miranda is, meanwhile, disassembling the pin to get the little, like, bits in there. Do you, do you do you want me to try picking it? I mean, give it your best shot. I gave it mine. You could indeed try locksmith. I'll have to work around this dent. Yeah, <laughs> this big oh, you can see uh max fist imprint. On what there. level of success would I need? Uh, uh, for a locksmith, just a regular is fine. Okay, uh, I will spend a good chunk of luck to make it a success. Oh, okay, for those in the rafters, it's 37. 
Ah, you mean the audience? Yeah. Right. There are a few things you find in here. Uh, again, there's got shelves where there's stuff. There's also stuff that's uh, attached to the back of the door. There is a small knife, uh, kind of like the pen knife. It will do 1d4 plus damage bonus. A small pot of black paint, a paintbrush, a fire axe, so 1d8 plus damage bonus, um, and also an ornate bronze-coloured crown that's inset with four red gemstones. Hmm. Well, if no one objects, I'll take the fire axe. Go for it. Oh, no, you got a gun. Dibs on the axe. <laughs> and you can, I'll, I give you the knife right, back. <laughs> then I'll take the, the, the remaining knife. Huh. This, uh, actually, this paint could be useful later. Um, For what? If we need to cover, if we need to cover um, the, the cameras. Do some Ooh. interior decorating. Yeah. All right. Well, we should help out the rest of the gang. Because they... It sounds like they're fumbling pretty hard over there. The, there is at which point the sound of a crash and a splosh as there is a, a wave of piss that flows all over Philip. Yeah. That sounded bad. Well, Yeah, let's go help them. Yeah, we fucked it up, guys. Uh, we don't have three more cylinders. Let's go to the control room uh, and find the production staff and... Um, start correcting them for this exercise there's i don't think that there's an alien technology that uses stagnant urine as rocket fuel as, but maybe it just smells i mean fuck it i'm gonna i'm gonna poke my finger in it and then i'm gonna taste it does it taste like piss we're actually you've, Jenny, you've tasted piss yeah, you, you, <laughs> yes. You've just tasted human piss. So yeah, would you like to give me a uh, a con check? Sure. Wait. If we um, had enough time, we could refill the what? power supplies. <laughs> I <laughs> my dice rolls. So that's a one. Remarkably, you managed to keep the contents of your stomach inside your stomach. <laughs> and I mean, like, it's piss. It's. In fact, you're fairly sure this is many, 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 many people's piss. Let's get out I, of here. I this don't know how I know that part. Um, how, you rolled how a one. <laughs> how could it be a power, power? It's not. I'm I'm with it's Serge not. on this it's one. I, bullshit. This is this is this is this is bullshit. I, I we're, we're, this is some kind of fucking this thing is this bullshit. Is, this is some like TV show like fucking the the humans try to break out. You know some. It, oh God. Uh, yeah, we're in, guys... we're in we're in the we're in the Roman Colosseum from Grey Aliens. Well, you're uh, all fucking with me, and I'm I'm on some kind of show. Are you all actors? No, no. I wish. I wish I was a fucking actor. Yeah, well, I'm the one that yeah, got covered Jenny in piss. You think Jenny would have been drinking piss just to keep up a role? Let's go. Oh, Sam, go. that's a nice looking axe. You can you can really kill Max some footballs it. with those. Oh, sorry, Max. Max. Has it. Yeah. All right, you take the lead for once, yeah, give, Max. Give, give okay. the drug dealer the axe. Yeah, that's great. We I don't even know if he's actually a drug dealer. About drugs. He killed my sister. That is an implanted memory. We don't memory. know that. I know it. I was at the trial. You are overreacting. That's... Who was the judge forward. at the trial? Go ahead. Right. Uh, you start going forward to, uh, to line up to take, uh, to take out some of these eggs with a nice, uh, basic safe distance away from you. And the clacks and sounds again, and another message comes over the tannoy saying, 10 minutes and 20 seconds to self-destruct. Warning, all biological specimens to, specimens to proceed to the escape pods. Oh, let's go. It's all dark now. Nine minutes and 59 seconds to self-destruct. Warning, I'm so cold. Jettisoning upper habitat level in three minutes, two seconds. Warning, warning. Hey, well. We'll cut our way there. This does not. This does not feel like the cold, impassioned voice of a robot. It's yeah, no, it's it's a brain. I, they've hooked one of the brains up. I'm so, finding an escape pod. To the control panel. I I think we should go to the control room. With, I, I'm with Surge. 
Sorry, okay. I said, are, are you doing the careful, we're going to slowly and methodically get to the control room, or are you going to now throw caution to the wind and try and leg we, it down? We don't have I'm going to run like I did before. We don't have time. It's time to run. we got go. to go. I was, to the control room. Honestly, I was hoping that as I ran by, those things would just explode and miss me, and then you guys wouldn't have, an, have to deal you, with them. You, you'd think that, but evidently something by here, by design, is saying otherwise. Um, if you're all running down the corridor, I need to have a dex check from everyone, please. That 23. is hard. Yep, that's an extreme. Yep. Hard. Six. Hard. Point, I'd like to make it extreme as well. Hey. So everyone succeeded or better other than Max. No. Yay. <laughs> right. Um, Max on the on the plus side is also the slowest out of you. So I'm going to resolve quickly going around uh, whether any of them fire uh, at you because there's a 50% chance to see whether they do go off or rather, rather 50% chance to see if they hit. But they have a penalty die on all of you, uh, all of you other than Max, who they, get a, um, who they get a bonus die to try and hit. So that's one, two... <laughs> Three, four. You know, statistically speaking, I should hit with at least one of these. <laughs> not right. with your dice. No, not with my dice. Apparently, I need to fire these. Right, there is a series of nothing happening going down the corridor until Max decides to uh, to slip and fall on his butt, and that's the point where one d three of them get to fire uh, fire simultaneously at him together. So, two of them are going to uh, fire at you with a bonus die. O5 is a palpable hit. And 64 is a miss. So, there's a couple of <laughs> either side of you, and you feel this uh, thing land on your abdomen. Oh, they got me! Yeah, they got you, because... It starts to burn through your jumpsuit, and then you can see the uh, the octopus wiggling as it starts to burrow into your stomach. Ah, I'm just screaming. Yeah, um, you can give me a sanity roll, please, as well. Yes, because this thing wants wants to get in you. Apparently, okay. Max is the warmest place to hide. I am okay. Um, you know, pass? subjective. I pass. <laughs> I um, in which case it's only one on a pass. All right. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna burrow itself in there. Can I try and uh, whack it before it burrows in? You have one chance to do so before it gets literally inside you. All right, uh, so so that that's a hard dex roll to be able to knock it off you. Okay, not not fighting roll. No hard dex. All right, can't, I can't possibly roll another one hundred. There's a one in one hundred chance that says no. Nope. I rolled an eighty. I failed. Right, it's in you. Um, you can feel this thing burrowing into you. Um, it's going to do three points of damage as it literally starts uh, melting a hole into your into your stomach. Okay. This is agonizing. So the others, as you all go kind of slipping down the corridor, bouncing off the far wall and going around the corner, uh, you hear this ah! from behind you. What do you do? Ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> All hearts. Hi, Max. <laughs> All right. So you you ignore it, and uh, you can see that down the end of the corridor where it goes off to, uh, goes off at an angle. This leads into what seems to be some kind of control room. There's a a central table or a central series of monitors that go around this go around this like a cylinder that comes up from the floor with a set of chairs around it. There's also uh, computer banks going all around the room that are completely trashed. Um, there's sparks flying everywhere, the lights flickering in here. As you can see, that uh, you remember the Tentacle Dude? There are four of them in there, which are currently tearing the room apart. I'm going to turn right uh, around Jenny? and run back out. <laughs> uh, I'm just start blasting, I guess. 
I mean, we wanting to see what the gun does. Yeah, maybe it's I'm time gonna, to see what the gun does. I'm gonna point it at one of them and try to fire it. So you are using your futuristic gun, yes? Yes. All right. Uh, give me a firearms handgun roll, please. Okay. Um, uh, that is a regular success. Okay. Uh, this thing, uh, so that you know mechanically what it does, it acts as a regular uh, firearm. Uh, when you point it and shoot it, it's a pulse of light that it emits out of the, out of the end, but the air ripples as it does. In fact, it does fire some kind of projected energy weapon. This is definitely not fake. Um, it does not impale, so it's not an impaling weapon, so you don't have to worry about degrees of success for damage, but it does 1d6 damage when it hits a living target. Okay. So roll me a d6 to see who uh, to see which of these things you, uh, you hit. Uh, four. Okay. So that will be... Okay. Yep, this thing definitely go. You definitely see it gets hit. Uh, it kind of recoils round and sl slouches slightly on one side, but roars, and at which point gets the attention of the other the other three in there, so that they know who you, where you are. Uh, we'll descend into Dex order. Yeah. At, the, at this point, so from memory, rather scrolling mm. back up the chat, uh, I think it's going to be. I'm gonna to have to scroll up the deck, uh, the chat. I can't remember. I think I'm first, and I just fired. So that's fair. In fact, if everyone can plug, yeah, because uh, Miranda beat me to it. If anyone can pl plug their numbers into the chat, that would be helpful rather than uh, slogging through the book to find stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Missing one. There we go. Right, so yep, Jenny was first with 85. Mm -hmm. uh, then next is going to be the horde of uh, monsters in the room because they go on 72. So their action is to basically turn around and go, rah, that's all they're doing this round. 70 is Sir Sergey. Without a ranged weapon, uh, I'm sticking my head back around the corner to see if Max is catching up or what the screaming's about. Uh, Max is kind of looking down at this, seeming like there's a hole that's been burnt through his jumpsuit, and you can just about see this blood starting to see, uh, seep out of this hole in his stomach, where something is writhing its way into his insides. Max, are you alive? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm screaming. I'm trying to pull it out of the hole. All right, I think this is worth a taser attempt. Okay, are you rushing back over to try and help him then? Yeah. All right. Um, rather than using first aid, to, uh, well, rather, rather than using fighting brawl to hit this thing, you can give me a first aid roll to see if you can uh, hit him rather, without doing any damage to Max. Right. So you're effectively trying to shove a taser into an open wound into his lower lower part of his torso. Yeah, the shock might do him good, honestly. <laughs> I'm Shocking. sorry, Max. Uh my my thirty first aid is no match for my eighty four roll. Ooh. Nor do I have that much luck. So you you jab it and you jab the taser into his uh, into his open wound and then pull uh, push the button. Uh, Max promptly starts going. Uh, yeah, Max can give me one d three in damage. Sure, I meant well. That is two damage. Okay, yeah. Um, now you know what it feels like to be electrocuted from the inside out. That's a new experience. Exquisite. How's the squiddy doing? Oh, the squiddy seems to be still moving around in there, bur burrowing its way further away from you, so getting further into his insides. It's probably starting to melt through his intestines at this point. Fuck. Right, that was uh, that was uh, 70, so next up is going to be 60, so that's Sam. I will take a shot with the pistol that I have. Okay. At the one of the tentacle creatures. Sure. So, first uh, of all, yes, that is a regular success. Now, can I have a, another percentile roll and tell me uh, tell me what the result is? All right, the percentile roll is twenty six. Okay, this one wasn't a blank that you shot. That's good. Yeah. Good. Right. So uh, you I don't doing know the damage on the weapon? Uh, it's a it's a regular, so it'll be a D eight, I believe, for a for a caliber of that gun. Seven. 
Okay. Um, are you aiming at one that was already previously hit or just another one? Another one. Okay. Uh, that will be more than half its hit points. So that one needs to make a con check to see if it remains up and about. Uh, con. Nope, 80 is a fail. So that one is out for the count. So the one you hit goes down. God, twitches on the floor, but is very, very definitely down. Next up from 60, we go to 55. So that's Philip. So I turned around when I saw those things, and I am going to just run down the corridors looking for an escape pod. Okay. Um, there's nowhere back the way you've come, the way, the way you've come. Um, all the places where you've been so far, you've seen there are no other doors in other than the ones you've come in through. The only thing that you would notice, or at least even vaguely think there might be a way out, is that the angle you've got to go into the central control room, there is a room that goes off that to the left. That's okay. the only room you haven't seen yet. Well, then I think that I uh, didn't realize that. So I was hoping to find another corridor. Um, this seems like a one route from A to B to C to D to E. It does not go off right. in many different routes to go off. Well, then it's going to take me a minute to figure that out, but uh, I'm probably then heading back towards Max. Yep. Uh, no problem. Well, I'll All probably right. leap over and she, she just, you know, <laughs> fuck you, leap. as I go past him. <laughs> okay. That was 60, so 55 rather. So next up is 50, so that would be Miranda. Um, so knowing that these escape pods are kind of through here, how many of them are in the way of that right now? Well, there's one that's just gone down on the floor. No. So there's all, there's three of them that are left. So you could try and basically try and dodge round those three to try and uh, to try and get to the, uh, the escape pod room. Okay. That's definitely an option. Um, but what I'm going to do is get behind Ginny while she's shooting and try and push her into the middle of them so that they get distracted by her. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, give me a fighting brawl against Jenny then. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. 24, motherfucker! <laughs> get the fuck <laughs> off me! <laughs> Your plan to use a human shield is foiled by act of Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> Right. She's so strong. <laughs> she is. She said she was as well. Uh, that that was 50, so I think the only one left to go is Max. You have a squid baby inside, or I think an octopus baby inside you. What do you want to do? Uh, box cutter. <laughs> Last ditch effort just to, like, stab it out. I think you can try and slice it up. Um, this is also going to be a first aid roll to see if you can get this thing out without doing yourself any further damage. You got it. <laughs> All four. We are okay. okay um, maybe. You go in with a, like a surgical precision. You literally cut deep into your stomach and then slice and or you can feel this thing popping through the kind of your cord intestines. Oh, God. It, it pops out. It only does a single point of damage for removal. Okay. I am alive. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. All right, that was a, uh, a fun first round. So, next round, 85. Oh, in fact, uh, those of you that have got rendered firearms, Sam and Jenny, you get plus 50 on your decks. So, oh, yeah. Jenny first on 85 plus 50. Yeah, I'm going to try to shoot one of the ones that's still up. Okay, point I'll, point yeah. gun and... Yep. Uh, I'll spend I'll spend eight luck to make that a regular. Okay, so I'm yeah, down to thirty one. That is a that is a palpable hit with your energy weapon. So get give me a d six. Uh, another four. <laughs> okay, uh, are you hitting the same target as previous? Uh sure. Yeah, I'll try to put this one down. Okay, that will also then be at which point having lost half of its hit points, so it needs to roll. And I'll remember to roll not two percentile dice, so actually roll a d10 and a percentile. 91. So Yay! Right, that one also goes down. Apparently, the my NPCs cannot pass them, uh, cannot pass con rolls. So 
two left. Uh, at which point Sam goes on hundred. Yeah, I'll take a uh, shot at one of them. Hundred and ten. Right. I'll spend the a lot of luck to make that a regular success. Twenty luck. Okay. Uh, but then I also need to roll the percentile, right, to make sure it's not okay. That yep. is a fifty-two. Don't. Uh, uh, okay, there is a very definite bang, but you're fairly sure you aimed dead on center of mass for this thing. It doesn't even flinch like it's like it got hit. That one was a blank. Yep. Right. So say so still two of them unharmed coming towards you, and on seventy-two it is their turn. Uh, they rush down the corridor towards you, and I think one's going to go at Sam and one's going to go at Jenny. So we'll go for the one uh, going at Jenny first. It's going in for the same kind of thing. It's trying to wrap these tentacles around you and give give you a big old bear hug. How do you want to, want to react? Uh, this is a fresh one, yeah. Yeah, both of these are fresh. Uh, then I'm going to try to dodge. Okay. Uh, well, I failed. <laughs> oh, that, that's a good time for me to get... Uh, oh, just a hard. Very nearly an extreme, but it's a hard. Oh. Right. If successful, the target is grabbed and held, must make an opposed strength roll on their next turn to escape. Oh, so yeah, this ooh, thing just goes okay. wrapped around and gives you a nice, big, warm, slobbering hug as its jaws open wide with these big teeth. You reckon this thing is going to try and basically clamp down on your neck next time? Yikes. Right. Yeah, and it will be much easier to do so now that you are being held. Right, and also the one going at Sam is trying to do the same thing. Uh, I can fight back, correct? Yes, you can. You need to get a is better that, degree of success only... than me. Right, is that only a fighting brawl role to fight back? Uh, well, if you're using the gun, you can try and use the gun. Oh, I, 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 could, I didn't remember. Oh, if shit. You could use sure. Fight back, or if you could. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll fight back with the gun. Okay. So this is shot number three. So, first of all, see if yes. you hit. Um, I'll see what you roll that first. That is a hard success. Yes. And then, of course, we'll roll. An 11, is, an 11 is a hard on my move. Again, very close to an extreme. So, you have to get better than my attack. So, you have to get an extreme with your firearm. I will. I'll I'll push it. I'll spin that luck. It wasn't a ton. All right. So okay. Ten more luck. And <laughs> now you can uh, now you can roll percentile to see if it actually is a real a real bullet or not. Yeah, I, I had rolled a forty three before I realized that like I needed to spin. The but forty three is fine. It's basically a fifty percent chance of the uh, the bullet being a, a dud or not. Okay. So at that point, you do successfully blam, which means that it does count for knocking this thing off balance so uh roll your d8 for damage is that piercing because it's an extreme or does that not apply you're fighting you're fighting back so you don't get the extreme okay. benefit got it got it uh oh damn just the one okay it kind of wings it but it's enough that means it doesn't come in and give you a good uh, tentacle hug got it yeah all right uh next up then is 60 so that's uh that is in back to sam then no, oh, you've, you've it's shot one, you I so, think it's me, actually. It is indeed, Sergey. Yes. Right. So uh, I, uh, you know, made an effort not to vomit into his open wound when I saw him use a, a utility knife to carve that thing out of his gut. Clean surgery. Uh, and I'm looking at the hole in his wet in his jumpsuit and the stuff inside. We were told that the there are stasis units on the escape pods by yes, the lying yeah. robot child. Mm -hmm. um, so we have. So the question is, Max, how we're going to get you to the stasis pod on the or stasis chair in the escape pod? Do you think if you stand up, your guts are going to just slosh out of you? I have duct tape, but I'll I'll try to stand up. I think we duct tape you on the floor. Around the okay. around the jumpsuit, yeah. so that everything stays in, and we just yeah, like, you know maybe you won't go septic because you've been living off Nutri Juice for the oh, last super six food, years. Yeah. Thank you for coming back for me. Oh, uh, you know, um, yeah. I hope uh, I hope we all get out of here and meet the producers on the red carpet. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna just like if you can lift yourself up at all, 
Yeah, that, uh, I'll know. try. I'm just going to duct tape around him, you know, six or eight times to try to close whatever patches the suit I can over the open wound. Gotcha. And yep, then no help him up off the floor. Yeah, it hurts like a like a really, really, really painful wound. But yeah, you're able to uh, feeling the uh, the adhesive tug against your intestines is a feeling you don't want to uh, to experience again. Oh. But yeah, you, you are able to, you are able to move. Right, that was Sergey on seventy. So then next is uh, Sam's already gone with the gun on one hundred and ten. So that's going to be Philip on fifty five. Okay, realizing that there is no other way out. I'm running back the way that I came. I catch up to Max and Sergey, and as I'm, as I as I run, start to run past. I stop for just a second. I turn around and I pick up the axe. I've got the axe in my hand. You must have dropped it when you were pulling all of this. I say that's a luck roll. <laughs> I'd say, especially as you're trying to cut you, you were trying to cut yourself open. Yeah, was it? Was he trying to cut himself open with the axe? No, oh, I've got a box cutter. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so okay, it's, it's yeah, the, you can take the, the axe. It's on the floor. I grab the axe and then I just keep running. I run back to the room, see if I can help them fight off the monsters. Okay, give me a dex check to see if you can manage to, again, all on this nice slippery floor, whether you can pick it up and still not uh, end up on your backside. I got a 27. That's, uh, Surfer that's a dude, hard. That's a hard. Surfer dude glides down the corridor, picking the axe up as he goes. And then glides around the uh, glides around the corner. Uh, you have your choice of one that is on Jenny or the one that is on Sam. Uh, the one that's on Jenny is wrapped around Jenny. Well, Jenny saved my life, so I'm going to try and bury the axe in its face or its head. Okay, don't fail, otherwise you're putting an axe in Jenny's head. What? You say that after I roll the dice. <laughs> what? I got an 89. Oh. Right. <clears throat> uh, I was being generous letting you use Fighting Brawl, because technically you should be using the Fighting Axe. Oh, wait. Fighting Brawl? What's my Fighting no, it, Brawl? I was going to say, you would use Fighting Brawl, but, um, but technically, as it's an axe, you would be using the Fighting Axe skill, which I'm probably sure no one has. Yeah, fighting could, brawl's really bad. Yeah, that fighting brawl's a skill you're using. Yeah, so I you've, you've failed it miserably. Give me well, a luck I got roll 25 see, in. Give me a luck roll to see if you connect with Jenny's head instead. Oof. Got an 88. That that looks like a D8 plus damage bonus then. See whether you uh you whack Jenny in the face with that. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Jenny. I mean, okay. Seven. What's the, what's the, you said down? Oh, fuck. I've got a plus damage four. bonus. 11. I'm dead. 11, point, 11 points to the Jenny's face. You, so you, it, you, you, it must have whipped I, around I, as I you, brought the thing down. Yeah, and, you, you axed Jenny's head open. Smack. Oh, my God. Right. Uh, Philip, can you give me a sand check for, for murder? Or yeah. at least accidental, uh, accidental killing. Apparently, I'm fine with it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I'd still, still I'm going to take damage. Yeah, if you see, if you succeed, it's going to be one. If you fail, it'd be d six. I'm, I think I'm hysterical at this point. So, oh, okay, you're I'm, you're screaming as you're being covered in arterial spray or facial spray uh, from Jenny, and I didn't hit the thing. No, and the thing is now turning back and looking at you as its next target. So that was a very eventful 55. Uh, next up is 50, so that is Miranda. Uh, Miranda's going to, because she had just pushed Jenny. The oh, Things happen. Tried Jenny's to. now dead. Yeah, Jenny's now dead with an axe in her head. Uh, she's just going to say, oh, God, Philip's with them, and try and make a break for the escape pods. I didn't mean it, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Well, there's there's nothing in the way now between you and the escape pods, because you've got uh, the other one is in close combat with Sam. So you run through the uh, run through the central control room and head out into the escape pod uh, bay. You can see there are six escape pods, uh, basically a series of one through six numbered, one, to, uh, one at the left, six at the right. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, each one then beneath it has the or rather a lever to one side, and then what seems to be a circular hatch that's a, at about waist height with a bar at the top. So you'd have to basically grab the bar and swing yourself into it when the uh, when the hatch opens. Which number hatch do you go for? Oh boy! <laughs> if only there was some way to choose hatch number one. Okay, you run to hatch number one. Uh, presumably, you pull the lever. Oh yes, yes, absolutely. Door opens. That's your. Uh, that's your. Uh, that's your action ground. That was a brave fifty. So forty max. I'm probably just leaning on sir. Yeah. Uh... And I am probably brandishing the box cutter. <laughs> We're probably making our way down the hallway. Okay, you can, if I, you can get up to where Philip is this round. If I see the gun, I'm going to pick it up if Jenny's dropped it. Yeah, it's in kind of Jenny's, I was going to say cold, uh, it's more cold, wet hand at this point, because there's a hell of a lot of blood around here now. I probably, I mean, my next turn was going to be trying to break out of the thing. I don't think I'm holding the gun still. Okay. It's on the floor. Um, is the monster closest to us? Look, um, like going for Philip. Uh, it's going to go for Philip next because. Uh, okay, Philip I'm going to fire it three times at the one that's on Sam. Okay, this is the energy weapon, so you can't fire yeah. it multiple times okay. in the round. Then I'll aim for the one that's attacking Sam, because Philip's fucking dick. Okay. Right. Uh, give me a firearm, uh, firearms pistol roll. Of course. I got a pass. Okay. That's a... uh, that'll be 1d6. Yep. Five. Okay. That will... Five is enough to take it down to half of its hit points for the one that's on Sam after the one point that uh, Sam gave it earlier. So it now needs to make its dreaded con roll to see if it can stay awake. <clears throat> Oh six! This thing evidently has uh, has a, a, a metabolism of steel. So you hit it; it kind of bounces off the wall and then turns. It's kind of got its uh, hateful guys fixed on you uh, now, rather than uh, rather than on Sam. And that is the end of the round, I believe. So, energy weapons and pistol go first if you want to still use them. So that will be. Oh, Max will be ninety. So will, be 90. Yeah, you will. You will still go. Uh, you will still go before the things. <laughs> but right. Sam has a higher base yes. deck, so you go. Okay. You go first. Um, can I shoot at it and also kind of try to start moving in the direction of the escape pod? Basically, is, is you can you can get past the control room and uh, basically you're kind of halving your movement. You go blam as you're yeah. backing up. So yeah, right, give right. me a this give me a firearms roll. So we'll see what I can do with it. Uh, that's a 16, which is, I believe, a hard success. It is, mm. um, but we'll see if and it hits. It's special bullet. Yep. Uh, that is an 84, so no. Nope, that is a, again, it goes blam, but you know you hit center mass, but nothing happens. Yeah, I'm dropping the gun now, and I'm moving, so. Yeah. All right, and you can see that Miranda has evidently is, uh, got the the hatch open to, uh, to bay one and is currently poised to be able to go in there. Uh, Max is up next. All right, I'll shoot the one that's still after Sam. Okay, this will be shot five for you or four? Uh, Jenny shot how many times? Two, so. Okay, this will be shot number four. Yep. Yeah. That is passed. Okay, 1d6. Five or above, please. Please, three. Please. Okay, and that was on the one that was previously fighting Sam, yes? Yep. Okay, so that is looking pretty worse for wear. Not down, but it's still looking pretty worse for wear. And then the one that is currently unharmed is going to be going... um, Well, it's got a choice now. Does it go for Philip or does it go for Max? Max actually has tried to shoot it. Uh, It smells like blood. I didn't yeah. shoot at it. I shot the one off oh, Sam. You shot the other one at it. Yeah, let's yeah. go try and go for Philip. Then that will uh, that will make my decision easier. <laughs> <laughs> so again, it's going to try and go for a tentacle hug. Okay, and I'm going to try to dodge. I dropped the axe. Okay. The blood-soaked axe. Yeah. What am what I? I'm got? doing dodge. Yep. 
you're going to need a hard because I got bang on a hard for my manoeuvre. I will have to spend... Thirty-two points of of luck, if you want to. Yeah, I do. Okay, you are able to slide out of the way, and I am. I am. Well, I haven't. It's not my turn yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was say Miranda. That's that was monster turn. So that's uh, da -da. so Sergey on seventy. Move <laughs> past. <laughs> I, I'm going to pick up that slippery, sticky axe. Uh, and basically, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm going to try to do, uh, I'm going to sort of march with Max toward the escape pods. And if one of them moves at me, then I will take a shot. But otherwise, I'm just holding it like on my shoulder at the ready to swing. Okay, well, it seems like they are both distracted at the moment from, uh, so they've both got their individual targets. In fact, I only have one that went at Philip. I've also got the one that was, oh, I've got the one that was supposed to be going at Sam, but uh, as she's backed away, um, we're going to have one of them is going to try, uh, try and swing at you as its target. Nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> You um you have the you have the opportunity to try and uh, kind of dodge round these things. Um, if if Max is doing the same thing, because it sounds pretty much you are doing the same maneuver, you can both give me a dex roll to see if you can get round it. Oh boy, not my strong suit. Just it a is regular. today hard. Uh, what was Sergey's one? Regular. No? In which case, the two of you, uh, kind of arm in arm, manage to slide round this thing as it starts to flail ineffectively with its tentacles. But yeah, you are able to get into the control room. Miranda, Hatch to Salvation has opened in front of you. Uh huh. Uh, just a real random question: uh, Is there a way to trigger the other ones to go, or is it just a, a hop in and that one? <laughs> <laughs> um, if you have a look inside, you can see that uh, once you once you basically grab hold of the uh, yep. bar to swing yourself in, you will be landing with your feet first, and then yep. your back on the lower part of the tube. And above you, uh, then like a panel of immediately in front, you can see there is a release button. So you need to basically be inside and hit the re and hit the release button first. All right. Well, these. Uh... These non-believers will perhaps live another day, but they'll get theirs in time. She'll hop into the tube and punch that release button. Okay, you punch the button. Give me a luck roll. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> no. Even on the best day. No. You punch the button with a kind of a defiant, yeah, I'm getting the hell out of here, as the word malfunction appears on the bar, uh, on the bar next to it. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> you've got if you've got five more opportunities <laughs> you see you're pulling herself out of a tomb <laughs> all right and i believe that is everyone in the round that's still alive anyway so back to the top uh, back to the top of the round uh those of you that have weapons i think the only one that still works is going to be with max yeah um it's probably the one that's coming after uh, Serge and I. So the one that hasn't yet been hit. Uh, no, the one that's been hit. Oh, that right? one. Okay, right. Because yeah, isn't can... the one that has been hit it's going after Philip? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll just finish this one off, and then well, we'll be in the clear, Serge. I'll try. Oh seven. I or okay. It does not. It does not impale. So roll. Yeah, that's uh, fine. D six. Just, uh, just above, above a three. No, I rolled a one. Okay, you apparently you are making sure this thing limps onto the bitter end. No. So this uh, is still lurching around. Get away! <laughs> uh, then it's over to Jenny. A hair's breadth away on 85. Well, that Jenny Again. was dead. 
Jenny's dead. dead. <laughs> oh, my, I'm, my bad. No, I'm not Jenny. Sorry, my bad. I was looking at Sam and I said Jenny. I don't know why I said uh, said Jenny. But yeah, Jenny's still kind of maybe twitching on a higher dex, but help us, Sam. <laughs> Wait, I thought Surge goes before I do, though, right? Oh, good. Yeah, and you also you use your last shot as well, haven't you? Yes. So, yes, it, I dropped the weapon. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Right, so that will indeed be 70 will be next. Uh, well, 70 is next as a PC, but the monster goes on 72. So, first one on Philip. Oh, remember I dodged him. Oh. Yeah, you dodged last round. But I didn't get to do anything. Oh, my bad. What What would you like to do last last round? I'm sprinting for the, uh, the control room because I got to get... Yeah. I, I, I see mom... Uh, climbing back out of the pod, I'm saying, "You take two, I'll take three. <laughs> okay, give me a give me a dex roll. Uh, oh nine. You are able to slide right the way into the into the escape pod room um, with such a roll as well that you're able to get to one of the levers to pull of your choice. So you've got two through six. Which one would you like? I, to I was going for three since so she's trying to get to two. Okay, uh, you get to three. You pull the lever down and door opens so you have a tube waiting in front of you i jump inside okay well that that was last round you'll be able to jump okay. this round philippe okay. i need help son <laughs> uh other monster then is going to try and go for who's left uh in fact everyone has run through into the control uh, room at this point so it's going to be it's going to be max and sergey that it's going to limp on uh, limp on after um probably max then as you're the slower of the two okay I will try and dodge. I right, don't worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it, 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 flaps a, it flaps a couple of tentacles in your vague direction and maybe gives you a, a nice wafting breeze as it does so. Uh, right, that is 72. So that is Sergey that's up. All right. So I'm going to. Uh, so Miranda's struggling out of tube one. Correct. Mm -hmm. And Philip, who just called that cultist mom, is getting into tube three. Well, I'm, I'm going to help her now to get into two because she asked for my help. Yeah, take your time. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to go to away from them because Miranda I... obviously will, you know, stab me the box cutter if she can because she's as bad as I remembered. Uh, Four, five, or six. So I'm going to sort of prop Max up in front of six and tug open five. I'll give you a salute. Okay. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so as, as Max salutes you, you pull the lever down on five, nothing happens. Hmm. All right. Good thing I've got an axe. Oh, <laughs> do, you, okay, well, do you want to take a swing at it? Oh, I was just going to go to four and defend my claim oh, yeah. if I have to. Fair enough. <laughs> You're getting ready to say this. There are many hatches like this, but this one is mine. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, that was... Oh, that was 70. Yep. So 60 is next with Sam. I was going to run for four, so... <laughs> okay. Um, you pull the lever. It opens. So you're able, um, okay. you're able to climb on in. Yep. Uh, give me a dex roll to see if you can get in in the same turn and try and push the button. 54 regular success. Okay, you're able to uh, you're able to literally launch yourself in and punch the button. Yes, I'm punching the button. Give me a luck roll. Hmm. Oh boy, what's my look at now? <laughs> no. Uh, you, you punch it. Malfunction pops up. I need to keep track of which ones are actually actually going to work now. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> the damn green things were tearing all the paneling apart. No wonder things aren't functioning. I can't wait until we meet up in the green room after all this and I see Jenny's reconstructive surgery and we go over our etc. Oh, let's keep just... track. So one fa uh, one was a tube that failed. Five is now. Uh, five was blank so that uh, that didn't open at all and four is the one that sam ran into 
Right. <clears throat> okay. I know which ones are still alive, so that's no problem. All right. That was 60. So 55 is Philip. Um, so I'm going to uh, help Miranda get into her into number two, and then I'm getting in number three. Okay. So you're are you opening the door for her? Yeah, I'll open it for her. You pull the lever on two, nothing happens. Oh, shit. Um, so I'm going to go, you take three, I'll take six. Good idea. And so I shove Matt. her towards that, but then I, I run to six past everybody. Okay, give me there's, a there's somebody in your. Seat. There's somebody in your way, I think, though, if you try there's to get in six. Three people in your way. Yeah, Ma Max is literally leaned against six. You're a good boy, Philip. <sighs> All right. Well, in, in which I got a 60 anyway. I don't. No, I, you I, no I, way. I, I slip in the goop. Yeah, you have got no way of getting to getting around everyone. And I say you are currently uh, doing a road runner on the spot in the goop. All right. That was 55. So next is 50. Miranda. She's going to hop in. And I'm sure as she punches it, perhaps with less assurance more carefully gently <laughs> some might say you, you, very, a... you very slowly push or okay, maybe yeah. tensively push it with one <laughs> finger I hit and it too hard it goes it goes green at which point the doors slide shut and you feel this uh, sudden whooshing motion as you are catapulted forward all right and that is escape uh, so you are out of it on the, 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 the next up, or I believe the only one's left is Max. Unless I've missed anyone, but I think it's just Max. Oh, well, time to go. I'm going to try so to kill are, Max. <laughs> Max. Max is going to try and leap into number six. Yep. I want the drug dealer get the freaking. <laughs> Give me a dex roll to see if you can get in because you are you are pretty injured and wound up with uh, a, like layers of duct tape. Yep. 13. You're able to jump on in, and at that point, you you punch it, you push it. I press it. Okay. At which point, there is a the doors shut, and again, there is this sucking motion, and you are th or you are rushed forward. We're going to focus just on Miranda and Max for a moment. <clears throat> and that you feel yourselves rocking forward, bouncing forward, as you definitely you feel the trajectory launch you forward. And for a second, everything goes still and quiet. Then the top of the, the top of the cylinder gets ripped open, and there are bright lights in your face. Or the, the whole the whole world, the whole universe is just bright light in front of you. For the moment, you think that you've been exposed to the hard vacuum of space until there's a microphone that's rammed in front of your face. And this this male voice. That uh, that just comes on and asks you. So tell your fans, did little little sister make you suffer? How does it feel to be a winner, Doctor? It feels so good. I feel like I already have my crown. As <laughs> she's pulling the crown out of her jumpsuit, <laughs> um, you hear the whole studio audience erupt in the applause. There's hoots. There's billows. There's clapping. And as your eyes start to become accustomed to the scene around you, you can see you are on a film set of some kind that you can see there is this almighty studio audience that goes off on a ramp up into the dark. There are spotlights coming down around you and now all whooshing around the stage, bright lights of multicolours flooding the area. And this guy in a kind of cheap suit with a big microphone that he's got pretty much rammed up almost as if you, you could reach forward and bite it. He's so close with it. And likewise with uh, Max, you feel um, the, the hatch goes off and there's this, uh, there's this lady here with another microphone that says, so how does it feel to survive my little sister? Oh, pain. It hurts. Oh, no, as they say, no pain, no gain. What? And the big smile comes across her face and the audience just laughs. Uh, there's just this bellowing laughter that kind of echoes throughout the auditorium. You are helped to your uh, to your feet coming out of the uh, the es the escape pods, which are just on gurneys. They're just on trolleys that were being wheeled across the studio floor. 
as behind you, you can see that there's a series of uh, cameras or other uh, TV screens that have been put up, which showing the various different views of the interior of the set, where various people are uh, being seen in their activities, or maybe trying to batter down the wall, taking the axe, uh, taking an axe to the uh, the interior of the set, trying to smash their way through these uh, through these hatches. As one part of the wall behind them starts to open up and a series of uh, black clad, almost in SWAT gear type uniform, start to swarm in, each carrying uh, what seems to be a suppressed rifle, as there is just a hail of gunfire as bodies start to hit the, de start to hit the deck. Um, at which point the male presenter who had a microphone put in Miranda's face says, Oh, well, there we go. There's just more of them bite the dust. We can only have a winner and one runner up on this show. What do we say? All oh, great. <clears throat> and she he turns to the female presenter who's now next to one of these creatures <clears throat> that's uh, that's been that's got huffing and puffing and uh, got these tentacles writhing by its side. So <clears throat> Anna, how do you want to give this uh, give one of our one of our assistants here? Well, you've got any few words from her? And so Anna turns around and uh, turns to this this monster. I said, hey, uh, hey, fella, you got any uh, you got any words for the mic? How's how does it feel to be taken off the taken off the street and given a home rather than being homeless and get get to play your part in an essential TV entertainment here? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, this thing just turns uh, turns looks at her and then leaps on her, uh, jaws extending and biting into her neck. Uh, a series of curtains rapidly fall and cut the view for, uh, cut the view to the cameras, even though there's a blood stain which is rapidly extending out from underneath it. <clears throat> As the uh, the presenter, the male presenter, goes and <clears throat> puts on a brave face and turn, turns back to Miranda and Max. So, any uh, any last words for the uh, for the for the audience at home? This is just proof that anybody can make it with a second chance. Oh, that, that's what us here at Little Sister offer you. We offer you the chance to make your dreams come true if you're willing to put your life on the line for the, for the noblest goal of entertainment. <clears throat> Turns to Max. A thousand yards there. I'll miss them. <clears throat> you know what I think we need for you? He kind of claps you on the hand. or claps you on the shoulder. I think you need a medic. He turns to the, he turns to the camera says well we'll be back after the ad break but don't go away because my little sister is going to make you and he turns to the audience at which point extending his hands the whole audience just erupts in the word suffer we'll be right back and that is the end of my little sister wants you to suffer Holy shit. Welcome to a dystopian future about 20 years from now. That uh, This took a little bit of inspiration, I think, from an old Nigel Neal uh, teleplay called uh, The Year of the Sex Olympics, where there has been such a slide into dystopian entertainment that it's kind of crossed between that and The Running Man. Yeah, that yeah, the, they do not care about uh, people's lives on TV. That you are expendable resources to make entertainment for the masses. And each one of you had your own reasons that we can go into uh, each individual reason why you went onto the show, what your backgrounds were. But uh, no, uh, Jenny in her poor state before she got an axe to the face uh, hit the nail on the head. That yeah, some of those memories had been tampered with deliberately to uh, to make you go at each other and have some kind of conflict between you. They were hoping you would turn on each other because hey, that's that's entertainment. That would be great for the cameras. But yeah, and um, as a few of you caught that there was the uh, the sounds, the people speaking uh, was in fact the TV crew issuing orders that you just happen to catch word of them uh, uh, through the uh, through the thin walls that if any of you had tried to either smash the walls or knocked into them you would realize they're basically plasterboard uh, so you could have uh, you could have knocked through them uh, and all of the the portholes on there leading to the I, outside I, space were just tv cameras behind glass oh, no, i uh, wish TV we monitors. i wish we tried to fire the gun <laughs> Oh, yeah, you would have you would have just put a hole through through one of the walls or through one of the ceilings. Right. Uh, if you if you tried to pry up the floor, you would have found that it's concrete underneath. So again, uh, kind of what why would anyone have a concrete floor in a space spaceship? Right. And the um the cough, even though it was quite uh, real lifely timed for me, um, is the director is the one that's giving you the audio cues 
uh, for the brains in jars, which are just literally jelly molds in jars. Uh, um, but yeah, it's like it can be a combination of like him maybe having run back to his seat from being a bit out of breath. But you either hear him coughing or gasping for breath, which doesn't sound very artificial intelligence. Yeah, yeah. There's there's basically enough errors. Oh, and the uh, like the cigarette butt that was uh, left was uh, one of the stagehands dropped it by accident. Mm. So yeah, there's there's whole little hints that could uh, could give it away that you've got uh, also uh, that you've you're in exactly a as a David uh, <laughs> cotton on very quickly. You are you are in a reality TV show. Yeah, you mean you're in uh, a reality oh, yeah, the, TV no. show. Yeah, that, that was that was. Um, this is what I, I mentioned before we started. There are various options of things that you can tweak in the scenario. Uh-huh. Uh, the contents of those. Uh, of those uh, batteries or fuses is one of them and it's based the whole studio audience contributes to piss in all of them so that when they break you're covered in the st- on, on the audience in the audience's urine mm. it's so really the funny busy nights, to me there's 12 of them <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of urine <laughs> i you know it's so funny that that you can go ahead and call the thing my little sister wants you to suffer and none of us think little sister big brother yeah even even after the ship is father instead of mother right let's just take that very simple right because it's too good because like because like the setup's kind of like you're like is this like is this kind of like alien and it's like oh yeah it's father instead of mother but then it's yeah then you're like wait a minute well what's funny is like when we when we started playing the scenario like and you mentioned the, like, as we were coming out of the facility, I was like, I don't know why I thought of it, but I was like, hmm, it'd be, a, it'd be a cool scenario idea if you wrote a scenario where, like, the players all woke up and had to slowly discover that they're on, like, a like a spaceship going through space. And they're, like, like some, yeah. like, you know, like, uh, Yithian, you know, weird thing or something, right? And I was like, oh, wait, we are, we are in space. And I was like, wait, is that this <laughs> scenario? And then you mentioned the people, and I was like, oh, no, we're in fucking, this, we're in, like, White Bear or something. And yeah, that's where we were. It's crazy. Our players awesome. included Holly Buto, Alex Sun, David Gasway, John Dos Passos, Nathan Decker, and myself with Matthew Sanderson as the keeper of the secrets. We have a Discord server where you can chat with our other members, you can set up private games, and you can learn the finer arts of gameplay and game mastering. We provide audio-only versions of our shows free for you to download from Podbean or iTunes. If you'd like to help support our show, please visit our Patreon account. Just a dollar to a month helps us a lot. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel and punch the bell icon for updates on our latest shows. And leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answer any questions you might have. This is Tom Rayleigh, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure into the universe of H.P. Lovecraft and the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. Until next time, good luck and good gaming.